me. Oh, oh, hey, look who found the on button. Mm. <sighs> look, a little, a little delay. What up, there. delay? <laughs> it's working. It's yeah. working. We're doing great. You got you. Hey, everybody. Mic. So, uh, for those of you that are coming over like we are from uh, Matt's live stream on ADHD Whiskey, welcome. Uh, I've been watching since early this evening. Uh, joined in on Trev Wilson, the Bourbon Wrenches stream, and I uh, was enjoying that. And I have his uh, his newest lurker here live with me, Jay Pitt, from the chat, is uh, in my whiskey room, and we're going to drink some some whiskey. So, whiskey. Um, before I before I welcome welcome to our whiskey party. Um, before I forget, today is day 11 of the Hot Buttery Rolls Whiskey Advent Calendar Extravaganza. Uh, today, I wanted to do a rye because it is F Friday, uh, F-R-Y-E-D-A-Y. And um, I'm going to go with a very special rye to me. This is Willet for your rye, uh, and it is um, really freaking good. This is the first really overtly rye whiskey that I ever had. I started out drinking uh, Redemption Rye and Old Forester Rye, which are great gateway drugs into the rye uh, But this is crazy good. So uh, that is a fantastic chat. Hold on. Mike Myers says, <laughs> oh, cheers, guys. Dad, come it. Uh, I got to go back and find that because that's fantastic. <laughs> I'm like a, some Christmas trees. I'm pre-lit. <laughs> that that's quality. So and um, un, and unlike the lights on your Christmas tree. Uh, wait, no. Did I get started too early tonight? You might oh, have. just just like Jeffrey Epstein. The lights on your Christmas tree didn't, didn't hang themselves. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hit that like button. Yes, please. Welcome to the chat, guys. Mike Meyer, Bourbon Beginnings, uh, Hot Buttery Rolls. Glad to see you here. Uh, Kilco, <laughs> Tim Evans, what's up? Bourbon Beginnings again. Uh, Steve Dameron. Tim Evans, I knew he'd be there. Cheers, gents. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Jerry Black, Shane Long. If I'm reading names twice or not at all, I apologize. Mike Cook, HBR. Hell yeah. Yeah. Kilco said you'd start very early if you watched my stream. I don't know what time your stream was, buddy. I did not get a notification. I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, buckle up. HBR is ready. Yeah, it's about to get weird. <laughs> Bubble Bath Bourbon is in the chat. What's up? John Barbary. What's up, man? Gary Franchi. Damn fine choice of rye. I agree, sir. Uh, hello, friends. Hello, Trev Wilson. Thanks, homie. Uh, I have two bottles I just picked up, but have yet to try it. This is exciting. Come on. Vanessa White is in the chat. What's up, girl? Uh, what percent is the Willet Foyer? It's actually pretty high. So this is a 55.8, which is one of the higher ones that I have. I noticed that uh, as they've continued to roll along, they have gotten uh, a little bit weaker. So it was like 114, 111, 110, 109, and now they're coming out like 104. And um, I'm going to tell you that these, these early heaters that I picked up were pretty fantastic. Um, so, yeah. Tim Evans, cheers, guys. Cheers to you as well. Yeah. Slightly toasted brioche. You know, I started my night um, with a seven-year will it ride tonight. Well, how's the bragging camp going? <laughs> it's going well. Good. It's going well. <laughs> Mayor Pingree Rye. I'm super jealous of that. Oh, I That's wish. awesome. We'll try that. Yeah. What is that guitar back there? That is a Paul Reed Smith guitar that I can't play but love to look at. Uh, Vegas Art, welcome. I'm new. Glad to be here. I'm glad you're here, too. If you like what you see and you're not horribly embarrassed by my on-screen antics, mm -hmm. uh, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, because uh, I'm not very good at planning, and my ADHD is only rivaled by the title of the last show that many of you are watching. <coughs> uh, so I don't really have a schedule. I'm not good at this. Mm -hmm. uh, started at 6 p.m. your time and ran until Trev Wilson began. The pre pre game, I guess. Many red breast Irish whiskeys were sampled. Mm, oh man! Yummy. So Josh has been looking for a red breast twenty seven for his boss for Christmas, and we are striking out. So if any of you have leads, yeah. please uh, find your way to my Instagram or Patreon. Mm. We'll need an overnight hand delivery. Yes, overnight <laughs> hand delivery. So, Dad, gum, this is good. Yeah. 
Oh, so just hyper minty, um, a little bit of dill, star anise, um, in the best way. Golly. <clears throat> yeah, we're, uh, we're excited. Yeah. We're excited. And by we, I mean, me, myself, and I. Josh also probably is excited, but I mean, that was just me speaking in the tertiary person. You know, it's meh, you know. Meh. <laughs> Extra meh. I'll drink it since it's yours, I guess. Damn, Purple Tops being drank. Not over here. Ooh, nice. Not over here. If you're drinking Purple Tops, then uh, that's good for you. Super mm -hmm. excited. Uh, I have one, and it's not in this room, uh, but we'll we'll get into that one, too. Uh, <laughs> maybe not tonight, but we'll get into that one as well. People don't seem to like Willet bourbon, but I always hear good stuff about the rise. So Lone Wanderer 360, the rye, the bourbon that you're describing that people don't seem to get into is the Willet pot still bourbon. It's the bottle that looks like a bomb. Um, it's really pretty and it tastes like uh, cooked macaroni, uncheesed, mm -hmm. and cinnamon. Yeah. And uh, it's not awesome. What are, uh, I think I think there's a note of hope in there as well. Hope. <laughs> tastes it, a little bit like hope. It hopes like it's hope it hopes yeah. it's gonna become a better bourbon. <laughs> it's not. Spoiler alert. Or maybe despair. I, I can't remember which it's one. It's it despair. Yeah. For sure. For sure. ADHD whiskey buddy, hot buttery rolls, weigh yourself Monday morning. I challenge you to a weight loss challenge. The winner is the one who is uh -oh. suddenly lost from the chat. There we go. Okay. The winner is the one who has a higher percentage of weight loss on June 1st. Ooh. All right, champion. I know I'm uh, I know I'm over three bills. Uh, so I've got a, uh, I got a lot to lose, buddy. Wait, wait, wait. So, so it, it can't just be the winner. Um, how about a, how about a bottle? Well, that's probably pretty good incentive. Yeah. Um, that'd be a, a great incentive for both. Yeah, for sure. So we should, uh, we throw, should do, throw up a bottle each and, uh, we should discuss that on a live stream. ADHD whiskey. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Huh? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, no, man, I'm in. I'm in. Even if we don't bet bottles or I don't know if there's no gracious patron that wants to put one up for one of us to win. How about a bottle of Larceny Barrel Proof? Oh, I hear the B520 is just absolutely delicious. <laughs> yeah, It looks like a bomb. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. Look, it's Doc mixed up. It's a Marty G puffer in the house, bro. Back at it, coming to you, coming to you on the ones and twos. Oh man, I haven't had a Willet bourbon, but I love the four year rye. I've had a couple of the bourbons, the purple top bourbons, and they're really good. Um, they can be very, very cinnamony, but they don't have that uncooked uh, or that cooked macaroni note like the pot still does to me. So, gotta show that one, <laughs> Gary. That's the one below it. <laughs> Will it pot still is a 95% neck pour. That is uh geometrically or yeah, geometry? Geo Geometric, geophysic Samson science. Yeah. Math. That's accurate. Yeah, science. That is accurate. Six mm -hmm. months, oh that's a long time frame. Yeah. Uh I it's good. I think if uh if I start doing meth and believe in myself and the power of the Lord, I think we can get through it. Meth and keto. The, Thank God I thought you had a bad 14 year. Yeah. I don't think they make bad 14 years. <laughs> yeah. A nudge a nudge is as good as a wink to a blind bat. Hey, 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 what? Let's do it. Bottle better, whatever. I'm in, bro. I'm freaking in. Throwing down the challenge. Hashtag call out. I like it. I don't even know how to lose weight in this day and age. Well, it's easy. You just stop doing all the things you love and start doing things that hurt. Every day, and uh, then you'll get squared away. Send him some Texas funk, Steve. I wouldn't do that to ADHD whiskey. I, mm -hmm. I love Matt, and uh, mm -hmm. most of the Texas whiskey I really enjoy is sourced from Indiana. So there you go. Um, Tim Evans, let's do it. Tim Evans. Uh... Oh, he says I need that challenge. Man, I mean it, it can be uh it can be like a tracker thing. Like we could we could have an accountability group. So if you're a, a chubby Wumpkins and you want to not be so chubby or Wumpkin-y, then uh yeah, I mean hit us up. We can make it happen. Vanessa asks, what's the name of the whiskey you're tasting again? This is Willet Four Year Rye. It's a barrel proof. It's 
proof. It's four years old, as the name indicates, and it's a 95% rye mash bill. Um, it is, I haven't even tasted it yet because it smells so freaking good. Um, um, Lane Johnson said it'll still steer clear of the pot still and look out for a purple top then. Uh, look out for the green top too. Yeah, look out the, for the green tops there. If you like the rye. If you and like they're 2,000 times easier to find. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Mike Cook, you're welcome to join Team ADHD or Team HBR. Uh, I suspect, based on all the knowledge that ADHD Whiskey was dropping in his live stream about how fit he was and can be again and will be again, uh, I suspect that's going to be a lot of Team ADHD. So <laughs> we'll see, man. Yeah, Jerry Black, I suspect there's going to be a lot of really pissed off bourbon enthusiasts on Christmas morning when they unwrap their what they were hoping was a bong, uh, and it turns out to be Willem Potts still. <laughs> <laughs> Try intermittent fasting. I'm down 13 pounds in 13 days. It works. That's amazing, man. Uh, like I said, I think I'm just going to do meth. Yeah. yeah. Key is keto. Keto. Ketosis. And then smoking meth after you do keto. Exactly. Works. Exactly. Yeah. No, if the spider people don't get me, I will be the thinnest one. <laughs> hmm. Damn it. I know. It just it smells so good. Fourth row. First timer here. And it's all because of ADHD whiskey. Nice. Oh, man, I love it. Hey, and thank you very much for ADHD whiskey. Shout me out in his live stream. And also to Trev Wilson and the other mods for uh, for giving me shout outs. And, uh, man, it's it's so cool to watch you guys and your support. I've got 43 people in the chat. So I got to think that that's at least partly due to uh, all the love I got from the mm -hmm. ADHD whiskey I'm going to just ride that wave, man. I'm just going to ride that wave. Uh, yes, I did start a Patreon, Steve Dameron. It is, uh, it's rough. It's very rough. And um, it's going to get better. Um, it's a work in process. So go check it out if you'd like. Uh, it is under my, my, my stage name. <laughs> oh, center stage. Hot buttery rolls. Get out your dollars, gentlemen. That was aggressive. But uh yeah, no, I've got a got a Patreon. It's under hot buttery rolls. Keto and Coke. Yeah, keto and Coke. Yeah, man, I I love a good Coca Cola. Yeah. Mm. Nose beers. <laughs> yeah. What are we sorry to hear about Bubble Bath Bourbon? Four teams. Let's do it. I've been intermittent fasting since grade school. Still husky. Bro, I get it. Like I stop eating for minutes a day, and it's I don't get it. Oh, so freaking good. Keto Coke and hookers. Yeah, ADHD whiskey sent me. Where does the name come from? Pretty sweet. Well, um, I uh, it's a long story. There's some videos that talk about it, but let's just say it's my maiden name. Uh, it's the easiest. <laughs> Easiest way to put it. It's my maiden name. And uh, I don't know. I, I have to be more primed than I am now to tell the whole story. <laughs> that would be a good Patreon story. So, yeah, uh, we'll do a Patreon live stream discussing how I got my maiden name. <laughs> mm. It's like a young whiskey aging. Yeah, for sure. And Johnson here from the DH. Keto, as well. Coke, and hookers. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Vanessa, you can guess. I'll give you three guesses of where Amanda is, and the first two don't count. Welcome, Lane Johnson. So glad you're here. Lane Johnston, my bad, buddy. Mm, it's hard uh, to read. It's you all seem pretty cool. Nice collection behind you, too. Thank you. So I still have it set up from when I did my live stream with Shayla, uh, Whiskey Central. Last Saturday, we did a blind tasting of uh, the entire, well, I say the entire vertical. We did not have any rare and limited smoke wagon, <laughs> but the entire... Mm. The entire vertical that I have access to, we call it a Perry vertical. <laughs> and we're not really a team here. This is I'm just a little kind of a guest, I guess. He doesn't know yet, but he's he's working in to be, I mean, by mass, one third of the show. <laughs> but by June, he'll be closer to half. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. What's up, Thrasher? Welcome. Thrash, Welcome. God, this is good. I can't stop mm -hmm. smelling it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna jump into the mm -hmm. palette. Cheers, guys. Mm. 
So it's so minty. So minty, shockingly sweet. Yeah, very right. sweet. This was the first time when I bought this bottle. Um, this was the first time I realized that rye whiskey was not like a bitter, weird note. It could be the most effervescent, menthol filled, um, like chest filling experience. It's so freaking good. Minty, um, as I said earlier, you get dill notes, notes of fresh dill, mm -hmm. um, anise, clove. Oh my gosh. That finish just rides and rides. And but the very beginning, when it first hits your tongue and lips, once it hits your lips, it's so, so good. good. So good. Fill it up again. Yes. Uh, but now once it once it hits the front of your mouth, it's got like a candied orange, like gas station, sugar covered, soft candy oranges. In a good way. I don't know if you guys like that candy, but it's one of my favorites. Uh, it's probably one of the reasons I weigh 300 pounds. <laughs> mm. Damn it. Yeah, Bull <laughs> Bourbon says, if you don't exercise at all, it's not a miracle cure. We're talking about intermittent fasting. So I want to know if there is a miracle cure <laughs> where you don't work out at all because uh, parts of me hurt. Uh, by just tying my shoes. And that's that's actually the reason I want to lose weight is just so I can tie my shoes without <laughs> breaking a sweat or my shoes. <laughs> God, this is good. Mm -hmm. Shane Long says, I'm very pleased with this, Willet. Not a huge Rye fan, but this along with the Act 8 Midwinters is probably going to change that. So, man, uh, those are a couple of really good hitters. Um, Midwinter Night's Dram is... Is do we know is will it four year rye source from MGP? I I don't think so. I think it's Kentucky. Yeah, I, I don't, really do. I don't think so. No, it distilled, aged, and bottled by the Willet Distillery. So okay. this isn't MGP, but it reminds me a lot of a 95.5 MGP rye, maybe a little sweeter. So if you put this up against um, Sagamore at 110 proof, which um, I have a couple of those, those are very similar, but they're just not as sweet as this. Um, but the Midwinter Night Stram is an MGP rye that is finished in a couple of barrels, and it is really good. So if you like finished ryes, uh, that one's really good, and I recommend also trying the Angel's Envy uh, rum finished rye. That one's pretty exceptional. And then there's a – I want to say it's Redemption Caribbean cask. Is it also a rum finished rye that's, uh, yeah. that's yeah, really yeah. good too? Yeah, the Caribbean, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's what you know, man. You go. You gonna go grab some? No, it's not the, not the rum. Hmm. You think rum Ben Stiller one. is available? <laughs> go to Globo Gym. <laughs> have him whip my ass. <laughs> we could have a. Oh, that'd be bad. Little dude, we could do a um, a whiskey tube weight loss dodgeball fight before and after. <laughs> like we meet in January, and we could all have our coronaries together, and then. Uh, and then lose the weight, and then June come back and have a rematch dodgeball game. I think that would be pretty freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Dodge, mm. duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Duck, dive, dip, dive, duck, dodge. <laughs> dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. You said dodge twice. <laughs> mm. Don't use a treadmill. I've heard too many people having heart attacks with them. Couches yeah. are safer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Kevin Campbell. I'll wait. I'll wait till uh, June second uh, to start that barbecue channel, just yeah. for you guys. <laughs> Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're. Uh, I don't know. We could do lean meats, which sounds awful. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll just. I'll just smoke turkey. Turkey breasts. Yeah, sounds terrible. Horrible. Ooh. Also, turkey's really bad for you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Steve sleepy. Dameron says Pikesville? Question uh, mark. Yes! Exclamation point. <laughs> um, Pikesville is Heaven Hill and it is 100% Heaven Hill distillate. It is a barely legal rye, which means 51% rye, a high percentage of corn, and then a little bit of barley for fermentation. Um, it is uh, really good. It's one of my favorite ryes that I got into once I kind of went rye crazy. So 110 proof, uh, I want to say it's seven years, six years old, six years old. Um, and it it goes fast at my house. So I like to make old fashions with Pikesville rye because uh, it's not overly minty or aggressively uh, dill forward. So it goes really well with uh, with a Luxardo cherry and some good bitters. Um, but yeah, every time I buy 
of Pikesville, it, it's like there's a hole in the side of it. It just drains. Old pepper rye. I've I been, have had old pepper I've rye. I've been wanting to get that for the longest time. Yeah. And I just never so have. I have a I have a be. James E. Pepper rye that's finished in Pedro Mena Sherry Casks, and it's one of my favorite ryes that I own. Barbecue and bourbon, friggin' sign me up. Come on. Yeah. Turkey breast, no butter. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, wire fire up the smoker. That's a great point, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, we need to um definitely one of these one of these weekends go get a brisket. We'll just cook brisket and we'll sit out in the back and go live. Drink, drink. I'm bourbon. in smoking meats. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm out here smoking, smoking meats. meats. Smoking all the meats. We've got a brisket or some bratwurst, smoking the meats. If you guys haven't seen what we're talking about, definitely look up Mark Zuckerberg live streaming himself grilling with his friends. It's the weirdest, cringiest, most android human activity I've ever seen. It's it's weird. He's a robot. He's a robot, 100%. Yeah, yeah he is. Hot butter rolls, my wife is a trainer. She looked at me yesterday and said, you're really taking this COVID-19 pounds things to the max, huh? I told her, <laughs> F you and then cried a little. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, yeah. Sometimes you just need a good cry. Sometimes you, know? you need a good cry. And you know what? Good for her for, you know, being honest because I don't know. I'm trying to make it better. It's not better, dude. I get it. I've, I've been in that position. My wife is incredibly supportive of me regardless of my weight. But yeah, she does sometimes, uh, you know, make muffled screams from underneath me. <laughs> Something happened to my glass. It emptied itself. That's, That's weird. so weird. That's weird. <laughs> oh. I'm going to write down some... Um, smoking meats and smoking cigars. Oh, yeah. I'm in. And some smoke wagon yep. or some cigar blend. Ooh. Smoke Ooh. wagon for both. Smoke wagon, meat, and cigars. I'm in. Three best smokings there are out there. Yeah. Well, some, <laughs> some might disagree. Barbara, Barbara says no. No. <laughs> no what? Fair enough. Okay. I agree, right. buddy. Okay. Or yes or no. No. I'm in the quarantines as well this year. Yeah, well, I'm in the corn 25. <laughs> That's definitely a Texas dream. Smokers and whiskey. Mm. Come out. Yeah. Triple smoke. Pop smoke. We're going, guys. <laughs> yep. All right. Well. Turn down for what? Damn it. That's good. Yeah. Really good. So, yeah. I, I have that. Same bottle, maybe not the same one, but I've got one of those. I need to revisit it. It's up in the top, in the back of the closet, so I don't really see it. I yeah. need to pull it out. And, and I mean, I don't think that there's a more elegant-looking bottle of whiskey in the game. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, great label. Great label, great color foil on both. Yeah. Um, just the, you know, it's it's like Christmas. It's like it wrapping is. paper. You know? Yeah, it's just really it's like elegant. Your, it's like you're opening a Christmas present every time you open one. And then when you open it, it is a present. It is. It is. In your mouth. It makes its presence not mm -hmm. known. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's present in your yep. mouth. Butcher proof with brisket. Man, I tried that. I'll be honest. I I think that the foil holds in more of the moisture, and I would like a really, really moist brisket. What did he say? Uh, butch oh, butcher paper? Yeah. So, you know, butcher paper in a stick burner for sure. Um, foil for a pellet smoker. Yeah. So. It's just yeah. my personal opinion. I have a pellet smoker because I'm lazy. Well, I listen, love technology. Listen, we're not 20 anymore, and ain't nobody got time to stay up <laughs> till four in the morning drinking Keystone Light. Yeah, yeah. slamming logs in the box. Yeah, that's, just, that's aggressive. Lone Wanderers 360 says, "My girlfriend keeps me fat, so nobody else will want me." That's what I tell my wife. I'm like, you know what? At least you know you're secure, <laughs> and that's yeah. yeah. But no, I'm ready. I'm ready to lose some weight, man. Uh, Mike Cook says, my dream is to drive to Texas and pick up my kosher, I'm sorry, my clothes pit, clothes, 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 clothes. I don't know what that is, clothes. sounds expensive, I'm going to Google it, is it like a Yoder, because that's my dream pit, money, yeah, maybe, maybe 21, yeah. they make some amazing offsets, okay, so it is a stick burner, there was okay. a um, question up here, fourth rope, do you guys like Russell's single barrel rye? Another one of my favorites. I have never had a Russell's Rye before. Oh, you could have had it at my uh, at my mom's restaurant the other night. 
Oh yeah, yeah. They had yeah. it up there on the yeah, bar. Saw that. So I I have had it and I really like it. It's another one like the Pikesville that is a, a not as spicy or minty. It's more of a bourbon your eye, and it's freaking good. I enjoy it. So I love this the the single barrel bourbon Russell's picks. Um, I just don't think I think that's the best value out there in bourbon. Um, I haven't had a bad one yet, uh, and I think the the single barrel store pick rise, which are very few and far between out there, that's kind of on top of my want list. But you you just don't see them. You don't yeah. see them a lot. There's so. not. Yeah, certainly not very many of yeah. them. We didn't have to go to this. I just I think I just we were talking about it. I think it's only it, so, right. Yeah. We we're just talking about it, so I figured I'd. So this is not the rye that I was talking about when I said Redemption Rye. Mm. This is a real special girl. <laughs> this is a ten-year-old barrel-proof Redemption Rye, which is MGP Rye, uh, bottled by Redemption. This is batch two. Comes in at one hundred and sixteen point two proof, and uh, I'm pretty excited. This is a very special, very special bottle. And Josh is going to leave. He's out. No, I'm in. So. <laughs> I'm in. I was just going to bring this one up too to, to it, try it. it. Well, just to do some. If y'all know, things. Redemption. This has got to be my favorite whiskey out there. This is the this is the old. Um, where are these from? Twenty. Is there a date on this? They're probably you know twenty sixteen or so, twenty fifteen, maybe before that. But it's a seven year. Um, Redemption Rye. It's MGP. Uh, it's. I mean. You know about it. It's yeah. It's just freaking good. It's full bodied and so it's the same age as some of the Sagamore single barrels that I've had, but it's not the same. It's no. not the same whiskey. Yeah. It's just not the same. What whatsoever. <laughs> Been using the pit barrel cooker for the last few years. Ah, super easy. Can't beat it. Thrasher, I've looked at that thing on so many Instagram videos. It looks awesome. I almost I, made one not yeah. long ago. I was like, okay, I need to find a barrel because yeah. I need to make this thing. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Kilko, you're a great dude. And uh, man, keep your head up for sure. The Russell single barrel rise I've seen are like 40%, though. Uh, I'm guessing you're talking about 80 proof. Uh, if you mean 40% ABV, uh, I don't think 40%. If it's 40% rye, it's not a rye. I love the eucalyptus flavor. Fourth rope, I'm trying to find a good example of eucalyptus so that I can add that to my uh, <laughs> list of recognizable flavor elements. Um, I was smelling, I was smelling some eucalyptus lotion the other day, and I don't think I got a good impression of what eucalyptus is supposed to smell like. So I probably need to go buy. I don't know. You can no, buy eucalyptus like, um, oil or gel or something. Yeah, you can go buy the oil. It smells like um, you know, like um, like eucalyptus. You know, oh yeah, you know. yeah. Frick, D duh. <laughs> you, eucalyptus. <What> an idiot. <laughs> Stupid. So yeah, um, if you guys watched Matt's stream, he was talking about how you know whiskey tasting is a process for sure, and the more you taste, the more you you'll recognize flavors and stuff. But uh, that's one of the things I think that. Um, I don't know. I may just be biased because I'm a fat person, but I think that a lot of times uh, people that eat more, people that have tried more food and and really, really love food are better at picking out notes in whiskey because you're just used to picking out flavors. And like, you know, Josh has a fantastic palate um, and he's also mm -hmm. a really good cook. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, a lot of your your whiskey knowledge comes from your your kitchen knowledge. Uh, DMC KY says Ziegenbach. Yeah, absolutely. I'll drink some Ziegenbach for sure. Let me roll up here just real quick. Um, Bubble Bath said, I'm a 50% or bust. Same. Yeah. Uh, yeah life give, give me gasoline uh, or just drain pour it. Yeah. Life starts at, at Bottled and Bond, but yep. it doesn't get good until, you know, 115, 120 for yeah. sure. MGP, you can't go wrong. Nope. You yep. cannot. Um, Weber Kettle. I've seen so many people cooking with that thing and, Man, they, they make some good accessories for that. Like, the, you know, you can you can get that little basket in there to do direct and indirect. And, mm -hmm. you know, you can sear something and then pop it over to the other side. The offset. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I just looked it up because that 40 percent didn't um, clarify what you mean there by that 40 percent on the on the, on the rail ride. Yeah, because I, I think they're 104 proof. Yeah. So I was thinking they were 100 plus, but. 
Well, I've only had Sazerac rye, rye can, uh, can, Kansas City, Kansas City, yeah, Knob Creek, yeah. <laughs> single barrel rye, and twelve year and High West double rye. Bourbon beginnings; those are some pretty good rye beginnings. Uh, I'd say that you're on the right track. Keep trying those. So that the Knob Creek single barrel, it, it was a it was a store. Well, it wasn't a store pick; it was a group pick. Um, but man, that's what really got me got me going on. Well, it was, it really, it was it was. This sounds dumb, but it was Jack Daniel's single barrel. How it has that kind of rye, just spice to it. Yeah. And I just didn't like rye before. Um, had that Jack Daniel's single barrel, and it just kind of. I'm like, okay, I want to try some more rye now. And then I had that, I had that um, Knob Creek uh, single barrel rye, and it was over from there. And yeah. now I just give me rye, barrel proof rye for ah. sure. Kilco, I've noticed that. Uh, the listerine that I have is also a eucalyptus mint. And so I wonder if I know what eucalyptus is, but I am recognizing it as mouthwash. I will say that whenever I smell and taste the Willet for your rye, I do get like listerine notes, but I never say that because it's like not a thing that you would look for in a whiskey. Tony G is in the chat. What's up, buddy? What up? Yeah. That's why everything tastes like Chick-fil-A to me. It's not a bad thing to have everything taste yeah. like. I love some Chick Fil A. Wish everything tastes like Chick Fil A to me. Uh, Bubble Bath Bourbon recommends bath bombs. Shocking. Yeah, yeah. No, that's actually really clever. I'll uh, yeah. I'll look into it. I also think that I have a friend. Well, my wife used to sell essential oils. If she has a eucalyptus tube, I'll go rob it out of her witchcraft chest. One thing I know about eucalyptus is uh, koala bears eat it, don't they? Yeah, like, like exclusively, right? That comes from them. Isn't Australia. it poisonous? <laughs> Couldn't tell you. I know. I'm not. A I know I've smelled it before, but from bath something or another, or, yeah. or the oils. I don't I'm know. not an entomologist. Yeah, <laughs> entomologist studies insects. For those of you that are thinking I'm an idiot, I'm not a proctologist. I am. Yeah, I'm not a proctologist, but I don't know what eucalyptus smells like. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Tony G. Hurton. Uh oh, <laughs> just keep drinking, says yeah. Uncle Buck. That's uh, <laughs> that's terrible advice, and yeah. I'm fully with you on that. Do it. Are those uh, Joseph Magnus cigar plants behind you? Only ever got batch 22. Yes. So I just got my fifth one today. It's a batch 26, and I'm freaking pumped about it. <laughs> I don't have a batch 22, though, so if you see one, holler at me. There's a metric shit ton of eucalyptus trees along the freeways here in California for windbreaks. Can't say I've ever gotten it on whiskey. At fourth rope, was it on the nose or palate? I'd have to, I'd have to smell eucalyptus again just to remember what it smells like to know if I've ever got right. it on, on whiskey. <laughs> Tony G says, I'm towed up. <laughs> what do you guys think about the wild turkey rare breed rye? I haven't had it yet. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's really um, good. It's another one that's going to be like Pikesville or uh, or Knob Creek that's uh, a lower rye rye, and it's, it's really good. This is actually one of the best ryes that I tried this year. Um, really enjoyed it. And it's like 60 bucks. So. It, it's it's one of the sweeter ones. I I prefer the uh, the spice, uh, the mint, the dill of a high of a, rye, rye. Of a high rye. You know the MGP. Um, it, but with that being said, yes, I was very I was very impressed with this uh, when it first came out, and he he got it, and we tried it over here, and I was I was very very pleased, and yeah. I will be buying a bottle eventually if I ever see it on the shelf. Um, but yeah, no, it's good. Definitely, yeah, I'd, I'd pick it up. What is it, 50, 60 bucks? 50, 57 to 64, I think. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. it. You can get yeah. it at, if you can get it at uh, retail, absolutely. For sure. If you like rice, sure. Yeah. We had an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Gathering. Went youngest to oldest. Great in thinking, but man. Toad up. Toad up. I get you, buddy. Yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> so uh, one difference I'll say between the Redemption 10-year and the Will at 4 is that the Willet 4 is real spiky. It doesn't have all the edges rounded off and just hadn't had enough time in the wood. Yeah. This Redemption is so incredibly easy drinking, and it's got a lot of vanilla, which I think has got to be the oak interaction. Yeah. Really so, nice. So this is at 58, and that's, you said, 55? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it, it's not. It's five, a little less than five proof points off. But, yeah, yeah. that, that Willet definitely drinks a little bit hotter. Uh, it's got that... Uh, whereas this with the age, it just kind of it's just sucks really it out. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I I thought that I thought that the finish on this was a little bit lacking. It's just not quite there to me. Um, it doesn't linger as long as I'd like. 
the finish on that will it much better. I think that this one lasts a long time, but it's the low, the rich flavors, like the, the oak flavor. Yeah. Whereas that one's like yeah. cloves. It's for days. It's been open for what, two days or so, two or three days. And it's already gotten so much better. Yeah. I really but enjoy it. I love it just, it. I mean, the, the finish is still there, but it just kind of, it dies quicker than, you know, that or something I prefer. And it, and it definitely, it's got that, that tannic deal that you described, you know, yeah, uh, grab grab your yeah. yeah. Just, not much, just a little bit, but I, I you know, I can, for a 10 year rye, I think it's not very tannic at all. It's, it's good. It's really good. Yeah. So Lane Johnson says, man, I need to try rare breed, the bourbon and the rye. I keep hearing how good it is. Yes. So I think that, uh, Every collection should have a bottle of rare breed um, bourbon for sure, but I would also add rye to that list um, at least once. You don't have to keep it in your bar, but at least get one of them and uh, and expose yourself to that. It's it's a really really fantastic whiskey for not a lot of outlay of cash. It's pretty readily available, and they're just special. Um, you know, those those Russell boys know what the hell they're doing for sure. Man. We had several Sazerac cocktails with Sazerac tonight. So good. <laughs> nice. You know, I've never had that. I've never had the baby Saz. Uh, the only time I've ever had baby Saz was at a bar at Opal's basement. Mm. And uh, it's because it was like $11 an ounce. Yeah. And everything else was like $40. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> I drank some uh, Sazerac rye, neat, and it was really good. And it helped me to not blow my whole wad. <laughs> it's, uh, it's what, like 94-ish proof? Uh, down there. 90, 94, 97. Yeah. I want to say 97. I don't know. You can't yeah. lose this rare breed. Yeah. God, this is so, so this is so rich. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, they're 10 year old, 10 year old MGP rye, high rye rye. Yeah. High rye rye. Oh, Hans Briggs. High rye rye. <laughs> can't say that. C920 is the best bourbon ever made. Won 5 and 0 over 2020 GTS. That mm. is a bold statement, Cotton. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it pays I off. just happen to have mm -hmm. some Elijah Craig C920 right there. So I'm going to go to that next. Mm. Byron's and OKC. I've heard mm -hmm. of that place. Oh, Clifford Cawthorn. So I have two. I have a. Uh, a Deb's liquor, um, high West double rye finished in Syrah. And then I have a total wine high West double rye finished in Syrah. And they're both fantastic. They're both, they're like middle one night Stram junior. They're, they're really good. Um, man, Saz is 90 proof. 90. So, okay. Way, I was way off. Yeah. Way off. Yeah. My bad. No, you were good. closer. I was at 94. I was at 97. Mm. I agree to disagree. Drinking Knob Creek Rye Pick now. Good for you, buddy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Byron's Which, OKC um, is about to do their highly allocated drawing. So good luck to everybody that's local to there. And uh, also, Byron's picks are fantastic picks. <laughs> do you mind handing me the uh, sure. C920? Oh, Joshy on the spot. With the power of magic and time. <laughs> There is your ECBB. I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> anime. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watch memes, but that's a meme. <laughs> the memes. Mm -hmm. I'm from Tulsa. I'll have to head over there sometime. Yeah, for sure, man. Vanilla ice cream note. That that's that's the dream to get that note in every single bourbon. Yep. Mm. Yep. And also uh, in every single bluebell. <laughs> You guys know what Bluebell is? Bluebell homemade ice cream. That was a jingle when I was a little boy. Ah, oh, good night. SG uh, Flying SG High Flying One. Flying High One. Later. Buenas noches. Thanks for coming out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tip your waitress. Yeah, tip your waitress, your bartender. All of them got kids, none of them married. <laughs> So when you add water to the glass that had the redemption in it, mm -hmm. it's just an explosion of oak. Mm. Like, 
All I'd I like to I'd oak barrel. Like to let that kind of dry out and, yeah. and smell it in a and minute. Rub it on your face. Yeah. So, what? I'll grab one. Wait, huh? That's a little weird. Huh? It's All weird. right, here we go. Tony G's number one bourbon of 2020. These 40 pizza rolls aren't going to be blind aid either. <laughs> it's Bluebell made in Iowa. You bite your tongue, sir. You hush your mouth, Uncle Buck. Yeah, you shut your mouth and you're talking to me about Bluebell being made in Iowa. That is the national flower of the state of Texas. <laughs> so uh, this is not a neck pour. I had this bottle for a couple months, but it is still pretty close to the top, so should be an accurate representation of the C920. I have a C918, and uh, it's been open and low for a long time. Good God. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Right next to my face. The leggies. Still not helping. It is like etched in there like it was etched in acid. Like that is a, that's a, a strong lady. Oh my goodness. That is real nice. Always loves Whiskey Nick or always love Whiskey Nick. I heard this is where the party was at. You're not wrong, buddy. Mm -hmm. We like mm -hmm. to party. We mm -hmm. like, we like to party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bluebell's the best. You're not wrong. That's delicious. So uh, what are we all drinking tonight? Hey, what are you guys sipping on? I mean, I've seen a few uh, Knob Creek Rise and um, what else was there? Something else in there, maybe a Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Yep, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof for sure. Yeah. Uh, so immediately on the nose, I'm getting the peanut flavor that is a hallmark of mm -hmm. Heaven Hill products. Mm -hmm. um, it's not mm -hmm. the, the straight up raw peanuts. It is... What is that? More like a lightly toasted peanut. Is there some black licorice in there that I'm smelling, or am I way off? Or no, what no, what is that? Man. It's got I a just, medicinal cherry note the... on the back and peanuts on the front. Oh whoa. Big peanut. Big I definitely nut. do not definitely do not have the nose or the palate of HBR here, but I'm trying to learn. I just know what I like, You're doing what great. I don't like. I'm getting strong notes like of it all. It smells like a bourbon. I get notes of bourbon and rye and, and a little bit more bourbon. It smells like mm. a whiskey. I think this yeah. is a weeder. I think this is a whiskey. It's not a weeder. It's not. It's for sure not a weeder. It's not. Did a scotch mm. flight earlier and now sipping some will it for your rye. Mm. Good call. Good call. The Venga bus is coming. All right. Let's see. I like Bluebell. No, it's Mill. Okay. But now I live in. P and W, uh, Pennsylvania Northwest, Pacific Northwest, obviously. Cool. Oh, oh, mailed it. Ooh, Tillamook. Tillamook, Tillamook is goes make, hard. Yeah, dude. They make good cheese, good ice cream. Yep. Tillamook sharp cheddar is my wife. Don't favorite. mess with Iowa. <laughs> no, no disrespect to Iowa. Uh, Y'all have really good potatoes. <laughs> oh, just kidding. We're good, uh, we're good, from Texas. We good. don't learn about other states. <laughs> good corn. We we have a uh, Texas history here, we're, so. That's it's not a yeah. No, I'm just no, we were we were, you know, don't be disrespecting uh Bluebell though. Or Iowa. All right. Apparently. Yeah. No. Man, this is good. Tony, thank you for for the suggestion, man. All right, I'm gonna go to the C920 palette. is money. Bunker that shit. <laughs> uh, lots of fellow Iowans here. Good. Noah's mill was uh Ooh, that is that is a is heater. Let's say part A. So now it becomes a. I don't know if you guys have this in other states. You can tell me. Apparently in Iowa, there's some experts in the chat. Um, but there's a, a peanut patty candy that we make in Texas. And it's this red sugar that's not hard, but it's not liquid either. It's like a malleable substance, but it's like this red sugar candy. And they drop uh, roasted unsalted peanuts in it, and so it's like a it's not a peanut brittle, but it's like a a sweet sugary candy with roasted peanuts in it, and that <clears throat> is what I'm getting on the palate of this, and I freaking love it. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's you know, really you know, one. you know me. I'm not a huge fan of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but I believe this is the one that you poured me. Who knows? A yeah, month we opened or so it together. Ago. Yeah, and. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I can get behind that one. Yeah, for sure. Not bad. 
you know, not bad at all. Cedar Ridge. I saw Cedar Ridge. Um, I saw it on Instagram. Where's Texas? Uh, right. <laughs> Always love whiskey. How do we block Nick here? <laughs> North Mexico. North Mexico. <laughs> I'll take that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, Mexico is South Texas. Yeah. We built that. We built that wall a little bit too far south. <laughs> uh, I think my bicycle is in the Alamo basement. <laughs> How much of the song can I hum before I get demonetized? I'm not monetized. Oh, oh, Lord. Yeah. Psych. Joke ah, good night, Stanley Wagner Jr. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Always good to see you in the chat. Uh, see you, from Stanley. Doc McStuffins and uh, Marty, Marty G. Puffer. Marty G. Puffer. <laughs> Wait, which is which? Am I? I'm Doc McStuffins. Uh, I'm Puffy. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're Puffer. for sure. All right. I'm a Pufferer. All right. Yep. Should you guys go to bourbon to drink with smoked brisket or pork? I know you don't like pork down there. No, no. Actually, absolutely, we love pork. We love, we love pork. our pulled pork. Yeah. Uh, you oh, know, do some pork shoulders. Oh, yeah. Some Iberico, mm. Iberico chops, bruh. No, no, pulled pork. Yo, we love, yeah. we love us some pork. For some sure. Big old, big old thick cut bone in uh, uh, pork chops. Oof. Yep. But, you know, I, I don't know that I have a preferred bourbon to go with barbecue. Um, something sweet and something yeah, sweet something yeah. that'll hold its own i don't i don't want the i don't really want the rye rye spice yeah. you know uh because i'm already getting spice with all the pepper i'm using and um but i mean just don't matter pour, pour me up something yeah for sure my favorite whiskey is the whiskey in my hand when i'm grilling for sure yeah. Yeah. you just pour whatever so jg asked payday. uh payday um i uh, can see payday it's much, the sugar is much more rich than a payday. So payday is basically just a way to get peanuts in your mouth yeah, uh, without having yeah. to do it individually. Um, Via sweet nougat-y yeah. goodness. It's that nougat it, caramel is not what I'm describing. It's, yeah, it's much more sugary. Think like uh, if you had a, a snack that was guaranteed to give you diabetes and you drop peanuts in it. <laughs> I still want my colonies back. <laughs> Yeah, we talked the other night briefly about me being a secessionist. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. love the C920. Me too, buddy. I mean, humble pie. Iowa has blue bunny ice cream. Blue bunny? No, there's hey. nothing wrong with blue bunny. Blue man. Bunny? Don't be apologize. Don't Ooh. apologize. Blue bunny. So those so, little um, strawberry shortcake bars that they sell in the gas stations. Oh, yeah. oh god, those are so good. So freaking good with blue, the crumbles on the outside. Yeah. Oh. No, blue bunny. Blue bunny. Tillamook. Bluebell. I mean, you can't go wrong. Doesn't yeah. matter which one you get. Yeah, we're not we're not going to be territorial in ice cream. No, as long as you all agree that blue bell is I'm, the best. Yeah, it's fine. I'm a blue bellist. Yeah, it's and fine. I, uh, you know, I'm. Uh, I just saw something I wanted to read, and no bunker. It's so weird. This chat, it's your own fault. Make sure it was five. <laughs> <laughs> so Tony's calling a shot right now. He's saying on secondary C920 is going to go 500 next year. Listen, go. I it could, yeah. Secondary I mean, is it, ridiculous. It, it now is. they killed a couple of the secondary sides today. Uh so oh, yeah, BSM hopefully seven died. and eight. Eight died too. Six, seven, and eight were all killed, I really? think. I think. Jeez. Yeah. So hmm. yikes on bikes, man. Yeah. I think you what did um Boba say, Nick? I don't think y'all have gotten back a colony for a while now. Surely since the <laughs> so Boba <laughs> Bourbon's dropping some history. Yeah. I, like I said, we only learn about Texas. So yeah, that's that's hard for us. Yeah, I'm so, gonna have to take your word for it. Solik and Franklin's. No, Always love whiskey. Nick is a Bardstown legend. Is that Nick from Bardstown? So I just recently found out about Nick whenever he joined the Bourbon Junkies Facebook group. I actually think I was the one that added him. Uh, yeah. If if that's you, then great, man. Welcome to the chat. I love your accent. Uh, <laughs> if you want to come to my house and read me bedtime stories, I'm all for it. It's got a gorgeous accent. If it's the same guy, Salt Lake and Franklin's. Now that's good barbecue. It's it's good. Uh, it's not the best I've had. Have but, you had Franklin? Yeah. Have you? Yeah, I uh, love Franklin's. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but there's a place in Marathon, Texas called the Brick Vault, and that is the best brisket I've ever had in the state of Texas. I'm, Shout out to Elliot, the pit master. Maybe after after your June 1st date, we can do a um, 
we can do a road trip down like barbecue alley, like go to Lano and yeah. uh, you know, hit all those places. I so Land I had a, I had Salt Lake, but I didn't have the original. I had the one in Round Rock and it was it was nothing to write home about. And then that uh that Cooper's there in Junction is pretty garbage too. So yeah. we need to hit all the the originals and and really do it. So I've never had Franklin though. Clifford Cawthorn says Good Arts Candy Co. Lubbock, Texas. So uh, I'm from Lubbock. I don't know if anybody knows. I don't. I always say I'm from Midland because I, I live in Midland. I've been here for ten years, but I grew up in in uh, in Lubbock, and I don't know that candy store, but I'll go check it out mm. for show. Well, no, it is Nick from Bardstown. Yeah. Nice man. Welcome to my my uh, my channel. I'm not and Nick near as again. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to make it weird. You don't have to come read me bedtime stories. You can just come drink whiskey. I've got a lot of whiskey. <laughs> One of the best jobs of bourbon. Yeah, for sure. Bourbon evangelist. Once again, I'm hungry at 1 a.m. This is a problem. Kilco, I leave these streams and I just go eat all the Nutter Butters in the pantry. Listen, Jack in the Box has great tiny tacos. So, And uh, <laughs> if you want bulimia in reverse, <laughs> Jack in the Box tiny tacos. Bell Bell, Correct. Bell Bell, as I assume BK means Blue Bell, Caramel Fudge Pecan. Can't find it anymore. Is that on secondary now? Man, I don't know if I've ever heard of Caramel Pecan Fudge before. Hmm. Sounds amazing. George's Woodenville, and it's amazing. Hmm. Yeah. So as this opens up in the glass, and it does a lot, it relaxes and it gets much more vanilla note. So um, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is 12 years old, and that's one of the major deals, and everybody everybody talks about it, but if you've never heard this before, a 12-year-old bourbon at cask strength for $69 or $59 or $79. Shut up and take my money. Please take my money. Yep. Uh, that, is a, that is a steal of a deal, and I will continue to buy every one I can find. Um, but this one is really nice. Mm -hmm. that's, that's great. That yeah. is really great. Gets a lot of... Yep. Uh, it's and a it, long you know, 132.8. I, I it's just it doesn't drink like no, that. not at all. Not at all. Uh, D, I think it was DMC KY said Rudy's barbecue. Nah, it, it's too chain, chainy. Is that a word? Too chainy, too commercial. Yeah, too commercial. Um, it's it's now, overpriced. If you go to an old Rudy's where the pit has been running for a long time and it's well seasoned, Rudy's can be okay. Also, go to Rudy's and get a breakfast taco, breakfast burrito. It's a soft flour tortilla, brisket, egg, and a ton of cheese. Double cheese, add salsa. This man knows his order. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like uh kind of like Dickies. So it's uh you no, know, it's, it's, it's way better it's, than Dickies. Well, well, no, no, I'm just I'm just saying Rudy. Yeah, I would I would, yeah. I would take Rudy's over Dickies. Um if but we no, have I mean, one here. It's, but it's, it's kind of the same thing. It's just it is what it is. It's you know, they're not cooking out in pits, they're cooking in inside somehow uh you know on these big machines that smoke things and it's just nah yeah why don't they put that shit on the bottle what are you talking about champion uh hutchins mckinney so my folks live in mckinney um and i have never been to hutchins if you're talking about the age statement it's right here on the side but if you're talking about it being the best deal in bourbon i hope they never put that on the bottle <laughs> I don't want people to know. Uh, I'm fine with occasionally being able to find it on the shelf. Yeah, just imagine that uh, being named best whiskey, you know, of the year for whatever, and then bye. it has been. Well, bye. Uh, was it? Well, I think it was 2017 or 18. Oh, the really? Elijah Craig Real Proof One oh, okay. Whiskey of the Year. No. That's yeah. good. So yes, always love whiskey. Nick said Elijah Craig A120 was not my cup of tea. It was uh, it was aggressive. It was overtly ethanol forward. Um, it was hot. And it didn't really settle down. So uh, it's kind of a wildcat. I will say that if you've had a lot to drink and go back to it and you're, you know, your mouth is numb and you're not tasting well, uh, <laughs> it is, it's, you're still going to tease some notes out of it because it's just so spiky aggressive. But uh, no, I agree, man. It was, it was a rare miss. Um, but, you know, we got two hits out of 2020 from Elijah Craig and I'll take two out of three. I think, uh, you know, the prophet meatloaf said it best. Don't be sad. Two out of three ain't bad. Cheers to that. Cheers to and to, to, to the prophet meatloaf. Yeah, meatloaf. Rip. Rip meatloaf. R.I.P. 
Paradise by the Laptop Light. <sighs> hmm. B520 was $69 and bought it. C920 at the same store was $199. Ugh. Mm. Ugh is correct. And by ugh, I mean an inside out sheep that's just absolutely disgusting. Uh, that's awful. <laughs> that's yeah. $200 for Logic Creek Brittle Proof. Yeah. That guy should uh, that guy should have one introduced to his prison wallet. <laughs> that that'll be a museum piece, or it should be, but with the many taters that are out there, maybe not. Um, <laughs> yeah, Uncle Buck, if you like aggressive, A120 is the most aggressive Elijah Craig barrel proof that I can recall. Um, I've had, I think the earliest one I've had was B517, um, but I've had every batch since then. And, um, yeah. Is this the longest your hair's ever been? How long are you shooting for? Uncle Buck, that is a great question. So I can actually whip it around now. It's it's out of control. My wife really wants me to cut it. My plan is to ruin Christmas. Um, I'm going to have the sides shaved down, and it's going to be a, a long and, and, like, aggressively redneck mullet. And we're going to go to my mom's house, and I'm going to ruin all the Christmas pictures. <laughs> And then cut it before New Year's. So uh, here's a, here's an interesting fact. Some of you may not know uh, when he cuts his hair into a mullet, it won't be the first time he's had a mullet. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. My uh, if you've ever tried to uh, send me funds via PayPal, my profile picture is there with a wicked mullet, like a really good mullet. Uh, Damn, this mere pingry ride just gets better by the day. Sounds great, man. Yeah. Wish I knew what that was like. How, how's bragging camp going? <laughs> no, um, I'm just jealous. I really, yeah, really, absolutely, I really would love to have that's, that's some great. American Green products for yeah. sure. I'd like to try them. I hear nothing but good things. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Steve, just to uh, answer your question, uh, you said go next or not question, but uh, go next time you're in McKinney. It's really good. You have to wait in line usually though. Yeah, I've just been every time we go, uh, we're on a we're on a tight schedule, and I just haven't had a chance. We are. We'll be there on the twenty, maybe eighth or so of this month. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll make it a point to go, and I will report back on how good it is. I know, I know it's good. I've heard nothing but good things about Hutchins, but just haven't had a chance. So Tony G <clears> gives <throat> the best tasting notes in the game. C920 tastes like the prom date that actually lets you go the full Monty. <laughs> <laughs> if by full I, Monty you mean she gets her strap out on and. Uh, Strap on, strap on out. Wait, what? What? <laughs> mm. uh, mullet, yes. That was born in Oxford. Oh, Tim Evans <laughs> is an original OG Brit. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. I will send you $100 if you go full mullet for three months. Don't threaten me with a good time, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually been trying to get fired. So. Ooh, fourth throat. I'll get you some pingree. Look at I that. I have a skullet. That's a skullet. It's <laughs> freaking sick, bro. I'm thinking of growing out my mullet. That'd be interesting. I will send you a bottle if you keep a mullet till February <clears throat> 1st, 2021. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's February see how long. I can, yeah. Let's see how that's, long I can get away with it. That's, that's a month. That's a month and a half. That's not bad. I, I think I could probably make that happen. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Skullet. J. Pitt is taking on a whole new light. <laughs> oh, the same way about the pingree that I do about Sam Houston. Sam Houston. You're killing huh? me. You're not finding the, <clears throat> the Sam Houston, Kevin? Uh, if I could run across one, I will do my best to remember that you said that. Will you write that down, actually? Yeah. Uh, I need to start taking better on. notes. Yeah. Because last night in the chat, or two nights ago, um, Someone said that they're going to send me and Trev Wilson a blind to do head to head on a live stream, and I don't remember who it was. I feel like so. I feel like Santa Claus's little elf helper. Kevin Campbell wants a Sam Houston. <laughs> uh, He's been a very good boy. I assume you don't mind if it's twelve or fourteen year, or are you just looking for the fourteen year? You know, let us know. <clears throat> Bloody all the way. For about five years too long. <laughs> the back is all I have left. <laughs> Same. So that's actually kind of where this came from. I was really losing a lot of hair back here. And you can't, people can't say you have a comb over if it's a comb back. 
So <laughs> that's not true. They still tell me that's a comb over. I don't care. Depending on what Walmart I'm leaving, I can just be absolutely brought to my knees in shame about my bald spot. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, look, Kevin uh, wants to do a little trade cigars for Sam Houston. You know, I have a bottle of the 12 year that's it's open, but not Sam much. Sam Houston? Yeah. I've not, got a 14 that I can send not, you a sample of. Not much is out of it, and yeah. I, I don't know if I'm going to drink it. So. The 12 year? It's not the same. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, but we'll see if. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do, bud. Yeah. It would help, too, to get some DMs. Sam Houston is my favorite underproof bourbon by far. <laughs> underproof. Underproof. I like that. Yeah. I like that. It's good. Especially considering it's 90. I think you meant under 100 for sure, but it's, it's not slouch. It's, it's 98. It's not bad. No, I, I agree. It is definitely underproof, but that's coming from yeah. a guy that likes the – 132s, the 126s, you know. <laughs> Tony G says, the balder you go, the more head you get. That's that's, <laughs> that's science. Not, that's not that's, that's not, the not good incorrect. Kind. That's not the good kind, though. I mean, it's not right, but it's wrong. It's not the kind you want. <laughs> mm. I think I just poured a little bit lighter than you, so I'm not drinking faster. So I'm kind of. What's next? What are we doing? Oh, I spend do I spend three quarters of the time drinking this and just sniffing yeah. it. I oh, know. Yep. I love it. It's uh, it's definitely got a lot more vanilla as it calms down. So you had mentioned MGP Rye earlier, and so I was like, oh, okay, well, MGP Rye, MGP Rye. That's why you see. I mean, also because that's mainly what I have and like. But I like you, you mentioned it. You so act like I, you had other choices. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I have to think destination bourbon for the Pingree, as we don't get that shit in Iowa. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been hitting Klein up pretty hard about some Pingree, so I'm sure he's got a list seven million miles long. But yeah, it'd be kind of cool to have one. Yep. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> that is what I meant to say. Sorry, LOL. Mm. No problem. We'll trade hair for hair. <laughs> <laughs> BK, uh, I I don't know what you look like or how much hair you have, but um, this zigzag of a hairline. I don't know, man. I don't know if the camera's really capturing it, but you don't want this, bro. You don't mm. want what I got. Mm. Man. So uh where are you going from here? What are you what are you up pouring up? Oh, next? I don't know. This is your party. I'm uh I'm I'm just here for the whiskey. So you tell me what you want to do. Well, you want any of the, any of these or you want to uh, doing doing something else? We move from rye to uh bourbon. So well, I got I have five of the six whiskeys that ADHD whiskey had in his blind tasting tonight. Mm -hmm. And I thought maybe we'd run through them, but okay. I'm already feeling pretty good. So probably not a good idea to do that. Um, I definitely don't want to drink the Larceny Barrel Proof yeah. after drinking such amazing whiskeys first. Yeah. Um, mm. you, want to try you, know, you know what I want. It's a Nashville Barrel Company. Let's do it. Private Barrel. Let's do it. So good. Man, 35 people in the chat. Again, nice. guys, thank you all so much for being here. It's 12.35. Um, That's pretty good. The advent calendar has been monumental for the engagement on my channel, and it's all because people are showing up and showing support and drinking a little whiskey super late. Um, I don't know what time zone you guys are in, but it is 12.36 in the morning in Texas, so... Mm -hmm. If you guys are staying up super late to hang out with me, that is appreciated. And, uh, you know, you guys are the best. Appreciate it. Y'all smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that MRFN like button. And tip your waitresses and dancers. <laughs> I mean, waiters, what I meant. Mm, I just missed my mouth. So that's how tonight's it's going. a drinking problem. I've been going since Trev was on. Mm. I feel like I'm remarkably coherent. However, mm -hmm. when I rewatch this tomorrow, I'll realize that I'm <laughs> speaking cursive and embarrassing my family. <laughs> oh, man. I love you guys, but is it wrong that I like pot still? No. No, absolutely no. not. There's so much of it out there that you can have. I, I hope you buy all of it. Are you nosing water? <laughs> Muscle memory. <laughs> Were you so, nosing that water from... Well, he, he said earlier there's, that no, he, there's there's a story said, about that. He said one, once you once he puts the water in the glass, it's just an oak bomb. So, so that's uh, that's mm -hmm. actually 
Hilarious that you caught that. I'm glad you did because it was very funny. But yes, I do nose the water because whenever you rinse out the glass, it brings all of the just straight up oak out of the glass to me. Um, so if you've never done that, give it a shot. After you've drank your whiskey and and uh, you have just a little bit left at the the base of the bulb of the Glen, put a little water in there, give it a swirl, smell it, and you'll get all of the um, the the flavor chemicals from the oak. That's that's what's left in the glass to me. So he sounds like my friends when my wife starts bitching. Dude's just here for the whiskey. I'm out. LOL. Fair enough. I don't know what that was about, but I'm telling you, G, oh, missed one. Love you, buddy. Yeah. If you like pistol, it's wrong. Okay. Fair enough. Oh shit. Tim Evans put my Patreon in the chat. Oh, Thanks man. buddy. Yeah. Like I said, it's pretty rough right now. It's going to get better. Uh, I got some great advice from Shayla uh, whiskey central on how to set up my Patreon. She said that a crisp high five was not a good reward. Um, I don't know if it's because that's a shitty reward or because it's coronavirus, <laughs> but I'm going to change it. So no longer look forward to a crisp by five. Those will be free and also available to people that are not on Patreon. As soon as we're allowed to meet in person. <laughs> are you a fan of Bell Mead Reserve? I am. Picked up a bottle of that today and it's some tasty stuff. Yeah. Bell Mead Reserve is freaking amazing. Now that it's all one proof, the 108.3, um, it's got a lot of, you know, continual, they're going to try to keep it more uniform when you can find the ones that are, they have the, the proof handwritten on the label. Um, grab one of those. It's, it's fantastic. I don't know which one yours is, but it's if, great. If you don't mind, Tyler, uh, what did you pay for that bell mead? Always, yeah. cu always curious to see. And where are you? If you don't mind what state, just always curious to see where, how it compares Yeah, different prices around different. Steve areas. Damron has to be up in five hours, but sleep is overrated. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, not just a film. That's yeah. good life advice. Balcona's pot still bourbon is good and inexpensive. You ever had okay. Balcona's pot still? I have. I have had. Which one is that one? So it's uh, it's just uh, straight barley, um, and they. Well, you know, like that. You got the brimstone and the baby blue or whatever it's called. Does it have a name? Or no, it's just. It's, I'm pretty still? sure it's just pot still straight okay. bourbon. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong there, JG, but yeah. Um, so I get a lot of apples on the Balcona's, um, on their malt whiskey. Uh, it's, it's pretty freaking good. Um, I'm sorry on their, on their bourbon whiskey, which is what you're describing. That doesn't have a lot of apples. That's going to be much more classic, aggressive, oaky, pecan, Texas flavors. That's not, that's not the, the light sweet apple that I was thinking. I was thinking, of the the malt whiskey that Balcones makes, yeah. Fourth rope, good luck. That is a, a private barrel pick from a cost of shipping group uh, that's also a charity called the Seventy Five. It is Golden Rye. The, the Tater sticker adds plus ten uh, taste points. Plus too, ten so. Tater points. Yeah, Tater points. And it is freaking ridiculous. So this one is. Um, it says seven years old, but at the time we picked this barrel, so I was. I was lucky enough to to go on this barrel pick. Um, we went to Nashville. Um, I just happened to be in Nashville at that time, and I was able to do this. Um, but this one ended up being a little over seven and a half years, and it is 113.28 proof. And it is much more flavor dense than the Willet, the uh, Redemption, mm -hmm. or mm, maybe not more flavor dense than the Lodge Craig, but it is really flavor dense. So uh, Kevin says, uh, I clicked the link, that freaking dog picture, ha, ha, ha. So I try to make people laugh. Like oh that's God. that's one of my main main goals with my channel and my life is just to be entertaining. And so, yeah, the photos on my Patreon are, are for your little chuckles. Which one is it? Uh, it's the kid that has the Shih Tzu head, the oh, Shih Tzu hair. Oh, okay. And the double-decker the double straw. Yeah, okay. I think, I think that's the one. But yeah, I paid 70 bucks for the Bellmead Reserve in Oregon. Okay. Uh, so that means you probably paid like 75% in taxes too, right? Mm -hmm. Oregon has ludicrous liquor tax, I think, or it's Washington. I don't remember. Moving on to Crown Royal 16-year mm -hmm. rye. Wow. Nice. Nice. I saw that in the hmm. store the other day. 
1792 Sweet Wheat. I love 1792 Sweet Wheat. It is very difficult mm -hmm. to find. Uh, but if you can find it at retail, I'd say 50 bucks or less uh, for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. JG says red label. Yes. Yeah. So the red label is the. Which, uh, which red label? Urban. That's for the, the balconies. Oh. Bell Mead runs about 55 to 60 in East Tennessee, North Georgia area. Yeah. Good I think deal. that's that's apropos. Yep. Um, the back is unmatched. Undefeated. Thanks, man. Yeah, Tony says the lineup of smoke wagon in the back is un unmatched. I got a couple of smoke wagon enthusiast buddies that uh, not only match but surpass what I've got, and uh, I'm not mad about it, but I am a little jealous. So I, okay. I freaking love, love smoke wagons. It's okay. It's okay. I might have to have that small batch. Yeah. Am I allowed to watch your channel when I'm not a fan of Texas bourbon? <laughs> Bro, absolutely. Neither of us is a huge yeah. fan of Texas bourbon. So, yeah. I hate it. Yeah, it's okay. I hate it. It's okay. They're trying. They're really trying hard to make it work. Um, it just gets so freaking hot here. Now, I did have those two um, Garrison Brother picks that uh, Casey had. Yeah, blind. Morgan. I didn't know what they were, yeah. so I didn't have a chance to hate them up front. And I, and I said I would buy these. At a certain price point. Yeah, I think we both agreed like 60, yeah. 75 bucks. Yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't pay one hundred and fifty dollars. They're on sale, on sale right now. One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty bucks a bottle. Yikes! And that is a that's a lot of money for a seventy five dollar bourbon. Reserve fifty eight in Kansas. That's good. Ah, Tony G says if you post your PayPal, we can super chat. Hashtag pro tip. Uh, my Venmo is at Hot Buttery Rolls, but please don't put any comments related to bourbon or Cuba. Uh, leave a frog emoji. <laughs> so, and the profile picture on my Venmo is uh, Chuck Norris pushing Jean Claude Van Damme, uh, using him as a snow shovel. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> Several Texas whiskeys, including Crowder Barrel, Eleanor. Huh, you got an Eleanor. Yeah. So, JG, I'm going to tell you That's, right now, Eleanor is fantastic yeah, and it's a great. Good. Texas whiskey that was sourced from, from Indiana. MGP. MGP. <laughs> it is definitely MGP. That's why it's so good. And that's why it's so freaking good. Yeah. So, all the, all the, uh, oh, there's no tax in Oregon. I was way wrong. Oh, wow. I apologize to you. Well, yeah. It's, I think it's Washington just, then. Washington, yeah. I think, is like 25 or 26 percent. Wow. Oh, Ridiculous. Yeah. And I got some brothers that was freaking amazing. amazing. I went and bought it immediately. Then they told me it was $140. Yeah, I mean that's yeah, you know Old Beth Bourbon. That's the way it goes, man. It's yeah. <sighs> it's I, I, don't, so I don't know. If, expensive. I don't know if they're proud of it or maybe they just have a high overhead or or what it is. But uh, maybe they just don't make that much, so they gotta they gotta charge more to make up for you know everything. But the yeah, angels, just, the angel share in Texas is three to five times more aggressive than it is in Kentucky. So literally, the atmosphere is drinking Texas whiskey faster than we can. Uh, BK loves Iron Root. I also love Iron Root. Uh, got a bottle of Harbinger right here. It's one of my favorite tater stickers of all time. It's a little uh, little Doc Holiday. I'm your Huckleberry. But yeah, this is a 124.5 uh, proof Harbinger uh, from the, from the Licorice Boys up there in Denton and. Uh, I think the Iron Root is a great exception to the rule that Texas bourbon is over oaked and tastes like wet cardboard. Mm -hmm. uh, and also Balcones. Balcones doesn't taste like wet cardboard. I just don't like the flavor. Uh, Lane Johnston um, hadn't had any Texas bourbon yet. All he had was the Eleanor from Crowder Barrel. But again, that's that's, uh, that's MGP, MGP. That's up good. in Indiana, and so it, you know it's going to be good. Yeah, JG said MGP. So. Yeah. And, is um, smoke wagon a hot commodity in Texas? It's crazy trying to get into Michigan. Yes. Yeah. We were at a liquor store last Saturday, and they had smoke wagon uncut and filtered, which retails at sixty-five to sixty-nine dollars for a hundred dollars a bottle. And guess how many there were on the shelf? There was one. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, crazy. Tony G says, check your Venmo. Check your Maybe Venmo. voicemail. Maybe he called. Did you call me? But I bet VM means Venmo. Ah, uh, Tony, thanks, buddy. Thank you for the twenty dollars super chat, Tony. Damn. I wish I had a a way to Tony's the man. Here we go. I'm just show gonna show comment. this. Boom. Yeah. Imagine that there's like explosions and the yeah. the firework and just two dogs doing it. 
Whoa, whoa, Thank you whoa. so much. <laughs> Got out of hand. Uncle Buck said, I'm drinking Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A120. So offensive to the nose, but really good on the palate. <laughs> Bro, it is aggressive. It's a hot boy. Yeah. Right. Still, Austin, Tawakero Barrel Proof, and Balcona Single Malt are one of my favorites right now from Texas. That that still Austin that Pinky's put out yeah. was not terrible. It was $50, so that kind of made it a little more terrible than it was drinking it. But it wasn't the worst thing I've ever had. It wasn't bad, and it wasn't aggressively Texan. No. It wasn't barrel-proof. Whatever it was. It, it was, was light, and it tasted young. And yeah, it was, it was definitely young. It was To me, definitely it was very – um, I hate to say – it was nondescript, just kind of forgettable. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, um, absolutely. But it wasn't like – like chewing on a refrigerator box. Yeah. That have yeah. been left out in the yeah. garage and something been dripping on it for a while. <laughs> Tony G says, great tutor sticker. I bought a new riff today that was Riffy Bobby. If you don't drink new riff, then you. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Jackhawk 9000. Available at all Walmarts. <laughs> oh, um, man. Whiskey distilled from a bourbon mash. If it's MGK. Well, so... It could be because of the secondary, uh, the secondary barreling. I'm not sure. B basic, basically, it's it's a bourbon mash, but they do something in the aging process, most likely, or they're using a used barrel. Yeah, so if they, where you, where it can't be defined as bourbon. Yeah, if it's so not a new it charred white oak barrel, then uh, it's going to be an American whiskey from a bourbon mash, and that to me. Sounds like something that's, that Rex and Daniel would do. That's that's word salad to me. Word salad. Yeah, that's just word salad to, you know, just so you know that it's trying to be bourbon, but it's not technically bourbon, which I would just call it whiskey, but uh, I don't I know. I like the term that. word salad. Yeah. Yeah. Word salad. I mean, you get it right. Yeah. Roll this in. It's kind of like speaking cursive. Yeah. It's like speaking, but speaking, I'm speaking word salad right now. For sure. So Lane Johnson is technically correct. What are you technically correct about? I agree, though. He is technically correct. Yeah. I don't know. What Fair enough. I still I can still score smoke wagon here in Illinois pretty regularly, but the uncut and filter doesn't usually last longer than a day on the shelf. Yeah. So Tyler, I don't know if you're in the Chicagoland area, but that's actually where I get about half my smoke wagon <laughs> uh, is from Chicago. I have some friends hand deliver it. Yeah. So we were uh we were perusing the K and L wine merchants website and uh, up pop uncut unfiltered for $59.99, I believe. Yeah, and we bought a case of Yeah, it. we bought a case and had it hand delivered from yeah. a buddy that I got up there in, in uh, California. Was, I was pumped about that. Yeah. So Lone, Lone Wanderer confirmed my suspicion. It is Washington. There's an 8% sales tax and a 20.5% oh. liquor tax. Oh, my God. It effing sucks. I 100% agree. How close are you to the border? Can you can you, um, can you go to can Canada? You bootleg? Yeah. Go get some Blanton's well, gold, sprint it back across. <laughs> I think that part of Canada is a little barren. Yeah. I JG says, have you had any chance to try Colorado whiskeys? I like Stranahan's and Laws. I like Breckenridge. Yeah. Uh, Breckenridge I really enjoy good. Breckenridge. Stranahan's I got real hurt on uh, on a camping trip. It wasn't Stranahan's fault. It was 100% mine, but that little shot glass that comes with the bottle, um, I just kept filling it till I got hurt real bad. What about the 291? Have you had that 291? I have I've heard good things. I've heard good things about the the top tier of it. The, yeah. Maybe it's cast drink, whatever it is, but I, I heard that one's good. But yeah. um, I have never had uh, Breckenridge. I've had that. I've never had this Str Stranahan's, Stranahan's, however you say it. Yeah. Stray hands, Michael Stray hands. <laughs> Haven't had that, um, but it's a foosball game. <laughs> uh, there was one I wanted to. Oh, fourth row. Do you get Russell's private select store picks down there? Oh yeah, we absolutely. Do. We get a lot of those. We do. We get um, a bunch. Uh, and I, I said that earlier. I, I think that's the to me that is the uh, best bang for your buck uh, in bourbon right now is a Russell's Reserve store pick. I haven't had a bad one. Uh, they're 110 proof, which yep. that's not you know, as much gasoline as I'd like, but it's a good proof and they're all just delicious and they're everywhere. And, and they're 60 50, bucks, 55, 65 55, 60 bucks. bucks. Yeah. So absolutely love the, uh, RR store picks. Yeah. Faux show. 
Hashtag JPIT quotes. That's right. Hey, we got to get some hashtags going on this channel. That's that's what all the big boys Word do. Word salad. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Politician. Interesting about the smoke wagon. Yeah, it's oh. freaking nutty, man. Yeah. Around by liquor and Rainier. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. There you go. 20 minutes from Oregon. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Tony G says, I can't score smoke wagon, but my lady gets a good 30 seconds of smoke wagon twice a week. Hello. Looks like we're expecting a heavy downpour of. <laughs> Three to four inches. Yep. Yep. Just like my wife's going to get. <laughs> uh, does it actually make yeah, a difference? Yeah, the, the, the 20 mile or 20 minute drive. Is it, I mean, at 20 and a half percent tax, I'm going to say it's, it's probably pretty close, but I would probably do that just on principle. I would too. You know? Yeah, I would too. I would not allow the state of Washington to get my hard earned yeah. dollars. F FTG. Yeah. Fuck them guys. <laughs> FTS, FTS, yeah, FTS. Yep. I just remember seeing 291 from the ranch on Netflix. I didn't see that show more than the first couple episodes, but uh, if they drink whiskey on it, that's yeah, cool. it that that's one of those. It's it was kind of one of those stupid, but kind of funny. But it was it was the same damn thing over and over and over. They they had uh, it's Ashton Kutcher and Sam Elliott. And, and I love uh, Sam Elliott. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And and they say they drop the f bomb a lot, so Good. it's it's not bad. Um, and that guy from that '70s show, the guy with curly hair, he was in it until he uh, sexually harassed some girl on the set, and then they they didn't kill him off, but they sent him back. And so sometimes you got to sometimes you got to do that. Yeah. Sometimes you got to kick so, a guy off. Yeah. yeah the, no, they had a in an episode they had a they had a pappy. In wait, there. wait, wait. What? 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 Tyler what, Davis what, what, said something what? about Rare and Limited. Wait, where? You saw one for a hundred bucks? No. That's what he says. Uncut and filtered. Sorry, not the uncut and filtered for a hundred bucks. It was a rare and limited. Rare limited. Oh my God. Did you get it? Is it still there? Go get it and <laughs> drink that thing. Or hand deliver it to or Texas, whatever. It's hand fine. deliver it to yeah. Hot Butter. Yeah, place. absolutely. No, yeah, go get that. Um, you know what's better than whiskey? Whiskey with a necklace. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I. It, I, I think that's going to be one of those ones that's um, unicorn. Stats. Yeah, you're you're buying it really for the label. It yeah. it may not be better than any of these, you know, eight year store picks, but it's cool. It's a cool bottle, and uh, there's not many of them, so yeah. it's just a blend. Uh, but word salad seems more appropriate to whiskey than anything else. For okay. sure, I agree. I just remember seeing two ninety one from the rant. Oh, I didn't I didn't know it was on. Uh, I don't know it was on that show. I, don't, I never saw that. Maybe it was a later episode. So, I heard you say the ranch. I didn't hear what you said before that. That's, so that's why, that's, that's why I'm repeating it. <laughs> She's in Oregon at some point. Says, One ten and nothing to sneeze at. Lines out the doors for those picks. Yeah, man. There's actually the Russell's picks here don't last long either. Um, occasionally, you'll run across a, a like a weird situation where like it was a small liquor store that got to do one and. They'll have cases of it. Halls did that. Mm -hmm. Big Country did that, where they had just shitloads of Russell's picks. Yeah, I still have. You still have some of the halls. I have one. It's halfway drank. I think I've got one and a half. Freaking left. good. God, it's a good pick. Yep. So uh, <laughs> I just got into the Iron Root Harbinger. Stanley Wagner Jr. Michael Strahan's cast. cast it it burn burn Captain Captain your <laughs> Stanley Wagner Jr. Still in the chat. Great. I'm so glad you're still in the chat because I needed that. Great comment. Love it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you're buying a couple hundred every month, yeah, it's probably worth the drive for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, man, this has actually got some really nice cherry on the nose. Very oaky. Big time Texas pecan. Shit, I'm behind you. Yeah. Turned down for what? I got aggressive with it. Well, we didn't talk about this. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm just. Oh, you did. You said seven and a half years plus. Well, no, I just. Hundred and thirteen proof. The, just how how wonderful it is. And yeah, sorry guys. My tasting notes <laughs> for the National Barrel Company are, are uh, unicorn tears. Um, like if Zeus had an orgasm and bottled it. Uh, there's just you know hyperbole upon hyperbole about how freaking good that is. He got it. He's wearing the medallion as we speak. What? Tower, that's cool good, as shit, good man. Good pickup. Good Great for you, pickup. buddy. Have you opened it yet? Let us know um, if you've tried it, how it is, how it stacks up to any of the others. So, yeah. Please, please let me know. 
because I have so much freaking FOMO. Tony G, uncut, unfiltered is great. It is. That's a great, you know, I, I don't want to say it's overpriced, but. Uncut you know, and filtered? Yeah. It, I mean, it's not. Barrel strength for 70 bucks? Yeah. I would I would love it if it was 60. <laughs> I'd love it if I'd it love was it 25. Would get, I would lo you know, I'd love it if we could find it here, and I would I, buy it. I 70. want a 12 minute solid gold, but it's just not in the cards. <laughs> Oh man, Mike's local store gets cases and cases of good store picks every once in a while. I feel like it's more than one barrel. That's a good feeling, man. We feel yeah. like our store is splitting its barrels with I don't know some other town. I don't know. Yeah, or maybe the owner. Yeah, super weird. <laughs> I will have one with you, BK. I hope that you do. Are you enjoying some Harbinger as well? Is that what you're talking about? Because this is really nice. Um, yeah, I I feel bad saying that I don't like. Most Texas whiskey. Well, that's still not wrong. I don't like most Texas whiskey, but Iron Root, uh, those guys are doing a really good job, and it's it's good whiskey. So Later, JG. Good chatting with you. Oh, later, man. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Appreciate you being in the chat. It was fun. Uh, and uh, golly, we still have 33, I, well, 32. Good night, JG. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you got to do on a Saturday. What, yeah. are you, what are you accomplishing, actually? Gotta, also, why did you turn this. your YouTube off? Just yeah, leave it on. Leave it on. <laughs> put 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 the mute button on. Lay it face down on your bedside table. Ooh, Michael. I'll turn the lights off when we're done. Michael Kohler. Hopefully, I got your last name right. Okay, so uh, you're gonna drive south to Elixir. Go see uh, Tarek. Um, he's a good guy. Uh, tons of picks. Tons so many of picks. In there. Like oh, my fifteen goodness. picks on the shelves. Yeah. Um, and then also go hit up um, Barrels and Brews. Tons of good picks there too. Uh, great store, great beer there. Yep. Um, where else did I? Uh, where else? I missed one there. Uh, if you can make it over to the what is it? Frugal. Frugal, Frugal McDougal's. McDougal's. Yeah, I think that's kind of a drive though east. Yeah, um, I think they usually have some Four Roses barrel proof picks. Huh? Yeah, but yeah, 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 it's it's probably those are probably hard to come by. They're but man, if, if you hit up Elixir and Barrels and Brews, you can spend enough money to make your trip and be happy. So yeah, yep. So uh, Bourbon Beginning said the wife and I are blind tasting C920 Rare Breed and Jack Daniels Barrel Proof this equal this weekend. Which one wins? C920 I'm gonna, is that what we just drank? Yeah, C920 will win. I'm going to say for you probably C920. I'm going to say for her. If you're blinding it, I'm going to say the Jack Daniels Barrel yeah. Proof. Well, Jack Daniels has such a lovely, at the Barrel Proof, has such a lovely, sweet, yeah. rich flavor. And I, to me, I think that Did based you, on the girls that we've had over to enjoy tastings with us, I think that the JDBP will, will be uh, the winner there. Does your wife like bananas? Yeah, if she likes bananas, especially banana runts um, or banana bread. Wait, which one is JDBP? Probably. Is it more candy or probably more runts? I think it's more candy. Yeah. If she likes banana runts, then she'll probably be JDBP. Yeah. So. But yeah, I, I think you, the C920. C920. Yeah. It's good. Yep. <clears throat> All right. You know, help. I have to work out tomorrow. <laughs> well, same apparently. Hang on. Go back up. He said, okay, never mind. So Sam Elliott, an owner of 291. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So Sam tried the whiskey that one. makes sense. Sam tried the whiskey when he yeah. got back to the set of the ranch and had his assistant called 291 and had a case set. That yes. sounds like some Sam Elliott shit to do. Yeah. If I had a mustache that sweet, I'd probably call them too and say, hey, Oh my gosh, dude. That, send, send I should a, grow my hair out that long, yeah. like Sam Elliott long from Roadhouse, <laughs> so I can put it in the the old ponytail and whip ass. Bubble bath bourbon. You have to work tomorrow. What do you what do you do? What do you do? You sit in the yeah, tub all day. I work out you sell, tomorrow. Do you sell? I have to work out. Oh, work out. Okay. Okay. I just read that. Well, no, I know. I heard that. That means I, the whiskey's working, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm reading in cursive, apparently, <laughs> which I can't do. I, I I can't read. Tim Evans is the bourbon angle of Chicago. <laughs> he's uh, he's definitely less than ninety degrees because he's a, he's a cute angle. <laughs> oh. That's so stupid. <laughs> I, by the way, I, I meant to say it in the in the beginning of this, but I love the Uncle Buck uh, name. Yeah, I do too. Hopefully that's a I love the Uncle Buck picture. A, hopefully that's a John Candy reference to the yes. movie. One of so. my favorite scenes is whenever he gets that drill out and he's going <laughs> to drill out the young man's <laughs> genitals off. He doesn't. Spoiler alert. Yeah. 
Which bottle from Nashville Barrel Company? So, so straight rye whiskey, barrel strength. Yep. Straight rye whiskey. It's a um, single barrel pick from the single 75. barrel pick. Yep. I was waiting for a Four Roses barrel proof to come out at a local liquor store at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, nice. Bro. Uh, buy it now, one for each of us, too. <laughs> if it's a tier four, five, or six, uh, B I N. Yeah, what are do you know any of the specifics like uh, recipe, uh, warehouse, tier, all that stuff? Uh, Clifford Cawthorn Bell Mead is in Nashville. Yeah. Uh, you're going to go to the Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery. Mm -hmm. uh, they um, they may have some good gift shop stuff in there. Yeah, if they have any, uh, like the, I'm going to say that there's a few of their finished bourbons that they ha are a gift shop release only. So yeah, definitely if you can check that out. A show. Yeah, I I didn't go there because I um I had guys in the area that told me there's nothing there. So uh, I was like, well, nah. Lane Johnston says this is the first weekend I've had off in a while. I don't know what to do with all the free time. LOL. I predict a little bit of sleeping, maybe a Bloody Mary, and a high carb breakfast. <laughs> Actually, my name is Buck, and I'm an uncle, and I'm fat, and I live in Chicago, and I love redheads. It just all fits. Oh my God, John yeah. Candy, is that you? John Candy. Uh, also for, um, uh, Nashville Midtown Cork Dorks. And then, um, what was that? What was the name of that four roses pick that I got us? Um, uh, what was the name of that place? Oh. Remember I got you and Mark one. Oh, uh, I think it's just a tier one, but, um, no, it was a tier two and it was, was uh, it? something in a wine. Yeah. Um, that one they had a they had a couple of um, decent picks in there. I'll see if I can find that. But yeah, that was another one um, there in Nashville that was good. Yeah, I'd have to. You can so, go back to our group yeah. text to look for the pictures. Well, but, yeah. go, probably go look for the bottle. <laughs> oh man. Okay, Iron Root, huh? <laughs> Kevin Campbell. I wish I could give you a usual time, man. So um, the issue is just. I'm going to go – I'm just going to be real with you guys, okay? I love going live. I love chatting with you all. Um, but I have a lot of respect for YouTubers. Um, and the Whiskey Tube is a very crowded – it's a very crowded landscape. And so I don't want to step on anyone's toes uh, by streaming over their stream. That's why I went so late tonight because I didn't know of anybody else that was going after Matt. So – I went real late tonight. Last night, I think I streamed at the same time as Whiskey Crusaders. I felt bad about that. Um, I don't. I don't want to mess with those guys. I mean, Matt and and those guys are, are so good at what they do. And I just uh, I just try to choose times when I don't think anybody's streaming, or at least I'm not like vitally aware of them streaming. And then I jump in whenever I can. So uh, the best I can tell you is uh, set your notifications up um as high as you can on my channel um if you like what i'm doing because that's really the best way to get a heads up because i, I don't have a best um i don't have a best way to really put it out there other than just like hey i'm live so we have some really nice little intimate lives with you know <laughs> 11 to 15 people and we go for three hours it's a blast yeah yeah you know i don't know that i've Wait, ever tyler davis you're in lagrange texas no, got to be LaGrange, Illinois, because you just said Buck. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. If I've ever gotten a notification for anything on YouTube, and I'm I'm definitely subscribed to plenty of. I hit the bell on you know plenty of them. So, well, that's yeah. I mean, I my notifications are set up for uh, almost all the whiskey tubes, mm -hmm. and I only ever get notifications for the Bourbon Junkies and Chad and Sarah. Uh, it's Bourbon Night. Yeah. And occasionally, like I got the one for ADHD whiskey tonight. I did not get the one for Trev. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, bubble bath, uh, LOL at my thing. Um, and then Shane long. So, uh, I'm not sure if you're in any Facebook whiskey groups, local groups or anything like that, but we kind of do a cool thing out here. Um, there's a, there's a town, uh, kind of East of us, I guess, Northeast, uh, Lubbock. And it's, uh, they're an hour and 45 away, but they have a group up there and we do a, um, uh, it's called sample room. And they do two groups of 12 and you just go in on those posts. They pour up three blind samples 
you pay them. Uh, we get our, you know, typically we get a mule to bring them down to us. And then we all get on a Zoom call and we try all the, you know, there's a bunch of us on there. We try the samples, uh, shoot the shit, uh, guess what they are, uh, and then reveal them all. And it's yeah. it's actually a really good time. It's so, a blast. It turned yeah. into a it can yep. turn into a shit show the later it gets. Yeah. yeah. But um, but but yeah, there's it's a three way blind every other week, and uh, it's really cool. If we had a if we had a reliable way to get enough bottles of whiskey to split it between all the people that wanted to do it, that would be a blast to be able to set up some kind of like remote triple blind zoom happy hour that would i would be all in on that yeah yeah for sure yeah. uh good info there bubble bath i didn't know that uh you gotta will you read that out loud yeah just make sure you set the bell notifications to all for hbr and bubble bath bourbon and bubble bath bourbon. yep if you click on the bell once it defaults to personalize so you're at the mercy of the youtube algorithm so i'm gonna go change a bunch of yeah. settings tomorrow for sure that's good i didn't i didn't know that so yeah uh, fourth rope OBSK. Do you have any of the uh, info from the front of the bottle? All those weird looking numbers that are side by side. Yeah. So on the bottom, it's going to say the proof in the bottom left hand corner. It's going to say the barrel number in the bottom right hand corner. If you have yeah. that information, that'll yeah help help us help you even more. But OBSK uh, is a, just just go get it. Is yeah. What I'd say certainly definitely go. Get if you it. can get more than one, probably get more than one. I've yeah. like the Russells. I've never had a bad never four had roses a bad store roses pick. So yeah. you know you're. Yep. Yep. Stanley Wagner Jr. I love Whiskey Crusaders, but they stream live five times a week. By the way, Whiskey Central says she is not going on tomorrow night. Well, depending on how Josh and I feel after this live stream, maybe we'll go live tomorrow night. I was actually thinking about doing bourbon brunch on Sunday. I'm feeling pretty good, not gonna lie. I'm feeling pretty good too, but I think it's probably this not in a, no, I think it's not barrel a, strength whiskey. Yeah, well, not in that way. I'm, I've been hydrated still, like crazy too. Yeah, I'm cool. still feeling still yeah. feeling good. So for sure. a special release tonight. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Bubble Beth Bourbon said something earlier about his thing yeah. popping out on his live stream. Yeah, uh, yeah you wish, bro. <laughs> man, I, it would be so cool to have a, a stream with you, Bubble Beth Bourbon, uh, and do like a blind. But um, I don't have a bathtub that fits me, so I would have to be like a shower. Come over to the house if you want. You can get our tub. It's new. Yeah. We'll make it happen. You're a real friend. You're I'll stay in the other friend. room. Yeah. I'll, I'll sit in there and video you if you want me to. Thank you. You have to wear your bathing suit, though. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's a little one. You don't have to. It's okay. It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah. I work in the loop, but not really anymore since the Rona. Okay. I'm in the loop. So yeah. I'm guessing that must be another Illinois thing, maybe? So. I work in the loop. Oh, is there a loop over there? I'm in the loop. I'm out in your hood all the time visiting the in-laws. Cool. Yeah, so uh, Tim Evans, I don't know about the loops in Illinois, but the cities in Texas have loops too, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the Crusaders do a lot of scotch, and I'm not into it. Yeah, I'm also mm. not into scotch. Um, mm. I know that there's a lot of people, Ed from Rock Gut Review, Ed and Erica and, um, and Matt and, uh, and Will and Sarah from Crusaders, they do a lot of scotch. Even Jason from the Mash and Drum does scotch, and I've – just go a big rubbery one every the, time. The guys down in Austin, um, what are their names? Uh, the the Eleanor guys. Um, yeah, uh, which, uh, Rex and Daniel. Yeah, um, that whiskey vault guys. Yeah, whiskey vault. They they do a lot more Scotch and Irish than, and I know that's what uh, Daniel likes. Yeah, uh, you know that's that's his his thing. But that's but what they kinda, do it really fast. Yeah, they do it really fast, and they go through usually a, a few of them. And I like both of them. They they yeah, put out too. good content. It's funny. Content. I love Rex. That guy's hilarious. It's um, a shit show. He is. It's <laughs> fun. It, that's what makes it great. Yeah. But I just they do the the whiskey or you know whiskey with the e review or no without the e. A lot of Scotch and uh, Irish, and it just kind of I'm like, yeah, I like my bourbon. So holy shit, Bourbon Beginnings has a private select. It's sixty two point eight percent. RS, RS, which 60. is Rick House R, which is the yes. South Rick House, 81.6C. That means 80, 81st Rick, sixth tier uh, C barrel. And that is exceptional. That <laughs> that bottle on the secondary market would bring somewhere between $450 and $600. You know, uh, uh, that's a freaking amazing. What is the uh, What is the recipe on that bourbon beginnings? You know, Corey, you tell him RS uh, 81.6C. 
he'd be like, oh, is that a O E S K or an O, you know, O E, yeah, you know, yeah. whatever. So if there was a what? RS is not going to be an OESO. I can tell you it's not an OESO. No, no, no. But yeah. Uh, Scotch does suck. Uh, I mean, I've got a couple Scotches that I don't hate, but I'm not a big, no, I'm not yeah. a big fan. I, I don't hate them. They're just... I, I really, I like, flavor. I like Glen Kinky and I like uh, Glen mm. Marangi. Yeah, oh. he does. Uh, I enjoy Lagavulin 16 if I'm looking to get punched in the face, um, but like, I don't get the hard bag thing. I can't do the burning rubber gloves flavor that is um, Lafroy. Oh no! Um, just too much yeah. peat is is just. I don't know. So Tony G says Scotch is for people that can't afford decent bourbon. I don't know if you've ever tried to buy a scotch. I don't know. But uh, you you have never felt more poor than when you go try to buy five good bottles of scotch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OBSV, eight year, eleven months. Nice. That's Damn I, it. I bet that's a great I bet that's a great that's probably super fun. Yeah, eight year, eleven months. That's that's yeah. good. Yeah. Fourth row. I'm done. LOL, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, I, Alexander. I don't want to disappoint anybody. And you know, it is, I have done some reviews on, uh, on Japanese and I will do some reviews on scotch, but it's just not my bag, man. Um, uh, every different strokes for different folks. And yeah. I, I tend to gravitate toward bourbon and rye. Yeah. And I also really like Japanese because not much of it's peated. Uh, and it, but it is still that full malt flavor, and I love apples and honeysuckles and pears. Later, Tim. He out. He out. All right, all right. We'll see you next time. Yep. Hey, thanks for coming, Tim, and uh, continue to be the bourbon messiah of Chicago, the bourbon angle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alexander Murray cask strength. Uh, that would be a that'd be, be a, a good, good one to try. Yeah, it's still got that kind of that just that scotchy scotch scotch. Uh, flavor that Tony, don't make me mute you, bro. Are any of my mods in the chat? I can't tell because we're on StreamYard. <laughs> I just, that's just wow. so aggressive. Can you? Wow. Can someone? I gotta go. I gotta log in and delete that comment. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Tony. Uh, go. uh, yikes. Mm. Yeah. PM me. I will send you a sample. Okay, I'm gonna write that down so you can PM. Bourbon Beginnings, so he can uh, send you a sample of that for roses. It. I love it. We got to take notes for Santa Claus. Thanks, buddy. Bourbon. For Sorry, Tony G. I love you, buddy, but that's you can't you can't be that aggressive towards people. <laughs> hey, drink the whiskey you like and the way you like to drink it, and try not to shit on anybody else for doing it their way. <laughs> And definitely don't yell F a whole population of people. <laughs> Tyler Davis uh, says that the Benny's, the most recent Benny's Four Roses OESV pick is delicious. I uh, think. Um, we need to reach out to those guys. I, yeah, I, I got, I don't think I had the most recent Benny's Four Roses pick, but I have the there one right two, before that. There were two recent private select picks one from Benny's, yeah. and I didn't get either one of them because I was saving up for the Pappies. But the good news is for my bourbon purchasing, I didn't want any pappies. Um, so it looks like I can try to retroactively go back and get those two Four Roses picks. Yeah. I like some Irish, but scotch smells like sweaty balls and feet. <laughs> Not things I look forward to having in my mouth. You know, I mean, Some you know, people do. Yeah. Some people do. <laughs> What's your go-to bourbon? Uh, fourth rope. I'm going to say Smoke Wagon. If I'm, if I'm chilling and it's just me or just me and Josh – uh, I love the smoke wagon private barrels. Um, I just grab those. I also really like to grab um, the bull run finished whiskeys. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that. They're they've got great flavor. Yeah. I guess for me, man, I don't know. I don't really know what go to is. It's kind of hard to like if it was one that I had to go in there and and pick to drink. I'm probably I'm probably getting this. Redemption rise seven year. Yeah. It's just, I love my rise and it's just so full bodied and flavorful. And, uh, you know, it's 122. If we're talking about what we would grab, if, we're gonna, if we have a choice to grab something and you don't have to replace it, I'm going to go Chateau de la Beau. Oh, yeah. or, or cigar blend. Yeah. Um, or Wilmer Weller. Yeah. That's kind of a hard, it's kind of a hard, uh, like, question to answer because, 
you got your like this. You can't find that anymore. No, uh, and I can, interpret but, it go to as like um, what do you consistently grab? Yeah, and uh, and I would say smoke wagon, um, bull run, and Weller one hundred and seven. Yeah, yeah, that that smoke wagon. I'd say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would like a rare breed right now, but I ran out. Sounds like you're doing it right. That means it's working. Clifford Cawthon. Oh, are, are you a, Amarillo. Okay. Are you a part of um, Claws, the Caprock so, Libation and Whiskey Society? Yeah, there you go. Look up Caprock. Yeah, Caprock are Libation you in, and Whiskey Society. Are you in Texas Whiskey Consortium also? If you can find Texas Whiskey Consortium and then also um, Texas Whiskey. West Texas Whiskey West Texas Collectors. Whi whiskey collectors. There yeah. you go. We try to keep it local to uh, to West Texans, but I know you're the true North Texas, and I'll let you in. Yeah, for sure. Well, shit, you got some Austin guys in there, and some oh. and some other stuff. We need to give them the boot. Need to clean. Need to clean it up. <laughs> clean. Cut that out. So get yeah, some scissors get, and cut it out. So go go get in a Caprock libation first, um, and then once you're in there, you should be able to find claws. It's um, it's the claws, claws sample room. room. Yeah, tribe. Of OF 1920. You know, I have that stupid bottle and I still haven't opened it, and I know it's going to be delicious. Yeah. Old Forester. I think we're good. Uh, Remus Repeal 3. Old Forester thoughts. Uh, old Forester at every level is, I think, drinkable and appropriately priced. Um, Jackie Zykin is doing a fantastic job. She is a uh, really good master taster, and she is making sure that all the stuff that comes out is good. The the choice to go to a barrel proof single barrel selection was um, something they should have done years ago because those are freaking ridiculously delicious. Um, but yeah, I just I love Old Forester from the '86 all the way up to birthday bourbon and uh, the 150th anniversary. Uh, fourth rope. Remind me again. Where Where are you from? He's not Iowa, is he? No, I want to say fourth rope was uh, was it Iowa or was it one of the sh the Illinois folks? I don't know. No, it can't be Illinois. He says it's crazy what you get compared to us. Yeah. They get everything. So, oh, oh Beth Bourbon says Weller yeah. is a go to. LOL. RIP everyone in California. Unless you would have played two to five times MSRP. Yeah. yeah so Bubble Beth Bourbon, I actually have sent oh, Michigan. Some, that's right. Okay. I've sent some. Uh, some Weller Special Reserve to people in California, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, how much do you want for it?" And I'm like, "25 bucks." And they're like, <laughs> "No, this is like 99." And I'm like, yeah. "No, that's no. that is a 25 dollar whiskey. Do not a, pay more than 25 dollars." 25 and a hand delivery label. And a hand delivery label yeah. for sure. <laughs> yep. Uh, love Dronic, Glen Goyne. My so paralysis. There's some Glen Dronic that I hear is just phenomenal. It's it's not a flashy label, anything like that, but I hear it's just phenomenal. And I mean, I'd like to try it just to just to see. But you know, pro probably that Alexander Murray cast strength is probably the best that I've had. I got a bottle. Uh, I want to say it was 1988. No, maybe it was 1990. Um, for my for Mike, my boss, uh, last year for Christmas, and we popped it over there, and it was good. It's really good. The only Glendronic I have is a Caden Head, um, a Caden Head acquired deal. Yeah, Tyler Davis, uh, hit me up on my Instagram, buddy, at Hot Buttery Rolls, uh, or email me. Uh, I hate to give out my email on this thing. No, yeah, hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. Uh, I did not get the Benny's eight year pick. Uh, I tried real hard. I, I think I might have that one. The, that may be one, the one eight I have. batch thirteen. I did get a sample of that. I got a two ounce sample, and it is fantastic. One eight batch thirteen, huh? Yeah, it's a multi finish deal. Finishing a bunch of shit, apparently. I think you had it too. It was yeah. one of the ones that Craig sent me. Really? Yeah, mm. my buddy here from Glenview. One eight. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I do remember that. You had a little sample bottle, yeah. right? Yeah. And it had the label that wrapped completely yeah. around the bottle three times because yeah. the title of the whiskey was so damn yeah. long. Yeah. 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 Fourth row of Michigan. Yeah. I, I, uh, what part of Michigan? My boss's daughter lives up in um, uh, kind of, well, is she Detroit? She's off in a suburb, I think somewhere in, near Detroit. And uh, he's, he's always talking about, and he's like, I'm going to have, I'm going to have Beck go up there and, and look for stuff. What do you want? <laughs> he said he had a handle on some smoke wagon up there, but uh, he never, never told me what it was. So 
A twenty-seven for Weller. Yeah, it's good. Ninety-five. That's the ridiculous. worst part about Scotch. Scotch's cask strength is so hard to get, and when it is, it's expensive AF. Yeah, I agree. Man. Yeah, no, I agree. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Weller one hundred seven for fifty-seven bucks is insta buy for me. Yeah, for sure. That's a good deal. Yeah, I like Scotch magically three months ago. I crave the brine that smoky Scotch gives you. <laughs> Wait, huh? you know what, man? It's like uh, when I was little, I hated eating uh, Big Macs. And one time I had uh, I had just finished being sick with the flu and I was finally able to eat again. And the only thing I wanted to eat was a Big Mac and I can't stop eating. <laughs> so you may have just converted to a briny Isla Scotch fan. <laughs> Talisker. I've never had Talisker. I have had Talisker. I have yeah. not. Heard plenty about it, but just never. Southeast Michigan, okay. Yeah. Detroit or cool. Southeast, yeah. It's oh yeah, Lagavulin, and, Lagavulin's fire. What was that? What was that one that AJ brought over to my house? I think it was that DFW Whiskey Club pick. Um, remember, that? remember that? That Scotch Lagavulin. They did a pick of Lagavulin. Yeah, or I, I don't know if they did a pick, but it was a DFW Whiskey Club deal that he got. Remember, I came in that box. Remember, he came over and he left the ring on my table and. I mean, it, it got pretty cursed that it night. It was too, uh, no, that was the wasn't that the 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 Paul John? I don't remember. Uh, was I don't it, know. Oh, whatever it was, that I that was delicious. It was, I liked it. It was uh, it wasn't scotch. It was either God. It sounds so ignorant right now. It's an Asian country that makes whiskey, or India. Oh, okay, it was a it was probably Asian then. Okay, so somebody in the chat helped me not to be yeah. a dickhead. Lagavulin, where, what, what is that? Where is it? No, Lagavulin is a, an isla that is in Scotland. Okay, no, but the he, one that the one that you brought that was brought to your house was um oh, Ka uh, Kavalin. Kavalin, yeah. My bad. Okay, yep. Never mind. So, what country is Kavalin for? For a thousand, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. It's like drinking peated ocean in a, water, in a good way. Yeah, all right, all right. Fair enough. Glenfiddich fourteen and Glenmorangie are some good scotches. I, you know, I had a uh, who did I get those? I Glen, like oh, I Glen, Glen, Glen Morangi. Morangi. Because Glen it is Glen uh, pie. it's lightly peated or or maybe even unpeated. <laughs> and it's just really, really sweet, nice apples, honeysuckle. Uh bubble bath, that's uh, your words don't make sense. You're talking word salad now. Mm. Drinking peated ocean water in a good way. Uh, Sounds made up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, one eight batch thirteen finished cognac, Spanish brandy, and Oloroso, Ooh. Amontillado, and Pedro Jimenez series. Uh, Come out. fantastic, bruh. Hey guys, most overrated bourbons. Oh god, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna Where say uh, uh, number one is gonna be Kentucky Owl, confiscated. Um, actually, that may not be overrated because most people know it's shit. Um, overrated bourbons. Overrated bourbons. We know them. We just don't know them right now. I mean, there's so many of them. Um, what? Uh, well, well I, per, personally, yeah, Weller, Weller 12, 12 is absolutely. probably the most overrated yeah. bourbon. I think, honestly, I think a lot of the Weller products are overrated. Weller Single Barrel. Weller CYPB. Yeah. Uh, and this is based on how hard people hunt them versus their actual payoff in flavor. Blanton's. Um, yeah. Uh, no, I mean that's not I that's not saying it's, should defend Blanton's. That's not saying it's bad. Yeah, it's I'm just it's saying it's fault. yeah, it's just way over high. It is over and, way over Yeah. Yeah. Um Fourth Rope says all Buffalo Trace and all caps. Yeah. Actually I mean, he said all Buffalo Trisace. Trisace. Which is like Versace. Mm -hmm. And uh I want a, I want a Buffalo yeah. Trisace purse for Christmas. Now I I will say you you are incorrect in saying all Buffalo Trace because the E.H. E. Taylor, Taylor the, well, no, just the whole E.H. Taylor lineup is pretty freaking good. Well, and I like Stag Jr. and I like <clears throat> all yeah. the BTAC. Yeah. Well, I say all the BTAC, but all the BTAC I've ever had the chance to try. Yeah. But no, we, I, I get what you're saying. Oh, Pappy. Pappy is oh, yeah, easily absolutely. the most overrated. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Old Rick Van Winkle is it's glorified. Oh, Booker's. Yeah, Booker's is a great example of an overhyped whiskey. But shout. I think that, uh, at a hundred bucks, it's yeah. I'll I, never buy another one. It's good. 
Lens and Angel's Envy are overrated. Yeah, I don't like Angel's Envy. I don't know if it's overrated. I like though. I like Angel's Envy, but I, it's it's bland. definitely like drinking some spicy banana pudding. Yeah. Well, special reserve and bookers are overrated. I mean, I, I like the bookers, but god dang, it's just even at the seventy four ninety nine, whatever retail technically is or typically is, I it's just it's a little bit pricey for what yeah. it is. So I will tell you that the second half of that Iron Root Harbinger. Don't beat me up on it. Yeah, I fought to get through that. Really? Yeah. I I don't want to say I enjoyed it. I just it, I'll, I'll tell you. I drank it. It wasn't bad. I I would almost be tempted to toss that over an ice cube uh, and add a elixir of cherry. I would be tempted to toss it over an ice cube and then pour that in the garbage disposal and turn it on. <laughs> so you, the, you know when ice is in the garbage disposal, it makes a good noise. And it yeah. cleans it cleans the blades. Yeah, for sure. Best way, by and the way, lemon, lemon free, uh, free information for you guys. Life hack. Life hacks. Life uh, hack. Follow me for more recipe suggestions. Uh, but if you need to clean your dishwashing or your, your uh, sink disposal, your garbage disposal, put a bunch of ice cubes down it and it'll clean the blades up and make it smell less like... Uh, Something died in your house. <laughs> well, Stag Junior is the best Buffalo Trace product. Man, I'm going to say Sub BTAC, the best Buffalo Trace yeah, product is to... EH Taylor Barrel Proof. Yeah. Um, Followed by Weller Full Proof, probably. I don't know if I'd do Stag Junior or Weller Full Proof first. I do Weller Full Proof. I do I mean, love Weller Full Proof. Yeah. Uh, bubble bath EH Taylor starts at hundred dollars here, increases by fifty each one. Well, yikes! I mean, you're in California, so it sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> you throwing up blasphemy against Blanton, Blandton, Blandtons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, and EH Taylor is Jesus water for sure. Yeah, I like Blanton's at MSRP. It's great for sixty bucks. Mm. Plus, it's a cool bottle. I agree, man. I've got a bunch of empty Blanton's bottles. I'm going to do probably nothing with. Um, but it is a really pretty bottle, and um, I love little horsies. I'm one away from having my full set. I uh, just got to drink a little faster. I have the bottle. I just don't have a drink. Um, but, yeah. Stanley Wagner Jr. says that Eagle Rare store picks are fire. I 100% agree. I agree for, um, to quote whoever it was earlier, uh, I think it was um, uh, Fourth Rope. He said underproofed. Uh, underproof uh, whiskey. Yeah, yeah, underproof whiskey. I agree. Eagle Rare picks, uh, ten years old, uh, you know, ninety proof, but that's okay. Thirty five dollars at the high end of retail, not bad at all. Yeah, corners crazy Michigan. I'm not crazy about Pingree. I've had five year, ten year, twelve, fifteen. I I wouldn't know. That sounds amazing. Ne never had it. Yeah. yeah. How's Bragging Camp going? Fourth rope. <laughs> <laughs> also, dump Dinkle down the drain to sanitize. How dare you? Ugh. How dare you? We we all need our Flintstone vitamins to grow up big and strong. Ten million strong and growing. I don't know if you guys ever watched TV when you were little, but that was a commercial. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever watched TV when we were little. Yeah. But. Been a little minute. Hancock's. So we're uh, moving on to. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 I'll just. He said I've I've had Hancock's, Bear, Blanton's, and Blinds. Oh, Beat. Beat. Hancock, yeah, yeah, for Hancock's sure. really. I, God, at eighty-eight proof. It just, just depends. They're all single barrels. Yeah. So if you got a shit single barrel of Blanton's and a really good single barrel of Hancock's, I could see it being beating it out. But in my five-way blind of uh, Mashville Two, Hancock's came in like fourth for sure above Ancient Age. Hmm. So this is Traverse City Whiskey Company. Barrel proof rye, 58.3, 116.6 proof. Uh, this is a barrels and brews pick, which is the place that Josh was recommending to go to earlier yeah, in, in Tennessee. Yep. Yeah, it's four years old, and this is MGP. It is MGP rye, so uh, it's very good. Uh, Tyler Johnson, um, I'm pretty sure your wife has already slid into Hot Butter Rolls DMs, but uh, we'll let him confirm. Oh, no. <laughs> Just that was kidding. aggressive. That was man. kidding. That was that, not as aggressive as the Scotch comment, yeah. but that was. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, you notice Tony? G oh, there's a, he's back. Okay. I was like, oh, <laughs> Tony left when I deleted his "go f yourself" comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on Instagram. Yeah. All right. What did What did you and Tyler talk about on the uh, smoke wagon sample? Were y'all going to do a swap? Do I need to write that down? What? He says I'm not on Instagram, so I have to have his wife slide that. into your DMs to arrange a smoke wagon. For Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Also, yeah. I don't know if you're on Facebook, if you're not on Instagram, but I'm generous. Chris HBR Britain on uh, on Facebook. So feel free to reach out. 
for real. I don't do anything with cool empty bottles. They just sit around and look good, LOL. So yeah, I've got myriad empty bottles in my house. Let, let me give you an idea here. Um, I, I did it with a couple. I took some empty bottles. I filled it with these little pebbles. Um, I got, I went to the hardware store, found some little, um, uh, like the iron pipe that you get. Uh, and I found some that would fit down into the, into the, uh, the opening the and then put a, yeah, the neck and then put a, uh, one of those, what are the, um, uh, your little, what are the outdoor lamp or the, um, citronella? No, the, you know, the, the, the torches, a not wick? the torch. Yeah. yeah citronella it, torch? Well, yeah. Wick. But, uh, what are those things called? The, um, tiki torch. Tiki torch. Thank you. Uh, tiki torch wick, you put it down in there and it makes a really cool little tiki torch table topper thing. So follow us for more important. Yeah. Hash, yeah. Follow me on uh, Etsy or um, mm. yeah, Etsy for more on Pinterest for more um, life hacks. Should I pay 169 for EPKA? No, no. 99 mm. tops. I love Eagle Rare. I'd love to get an Eagle Rare 17, but the waiting list in my store is about two years. Yeah, get on it. Yeah, get on Two it. Two years will go by quicker than you yeah. expect. Also, oh, um, we do. make better friends at your store because that waiting list, it will be two years for the next 10, <laughs> guaranteed. Uh, when you hold a little TV was black and white. Screw you, Tony. <laughs> F, you, F you and all the scotch drinkers. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. I've still got VHS uh, tapes at my house. So, <laughs> same. Just FYI. <laughs> all the Disney classics from the vault. Uncle Buck asks, is it wrong if we like Dickel? Josh loves Dickel. Uh, no. Um, no, there's nothing wrong with that. No. And I actually, there's a few companies like Barrel, Beret, Burrell, um, that source whiskey from Cascade Hollow, Barrel. which that is the parent distillery that makes Dickel. Mm. Um, and it can be delicious, like lightly toasted coconut. But most of the time, it tastes like Flintstones vitamin and pod water. <laughs> what is Tony G replying to Attenborough in the beginnings about? Ezra Brooks store pick is outstanding as well. Ezra Brooks store picks are great. I love the, the distillers, okay. the distillers collection. Yeah. Distillers selection. They're Did really you open good. that one yet? Yeah. I still haven't opened that. Oh, well, it's freaking good. Yeah. Yes. Forever City Rye, I haven't had, and I'm here. Heard good things. Yeah, absolutely. If, if you like if you like Rye's Fourth Rope, um, and if you like MGP Rye's, I I mean, this is a buy all day for me. It's They're a little pricey. They're, um, I want to say these were probably in the 79 or, it was 79 or, I think it was 79.99, maybe 89.99. It was 79. It, was it? Yep. In in Nashville at Barrels and Brews, yeah, um, but good too. I bought two bottles because that's how much I love it. They uh, Traverse City, they pick some really good MGP barrels when they go and pick. So uh, it's kind of like Nashville. Those guys know what they're doing. They got this guy. I can't remember his name's James something, but he's got a great palate and he picks some great MGP rye. So um, you know, uh, 120 bucks though. It's 127.99. Yeah, it's like 130. Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's iffy. But uh, since I did this, I was on this barrel pick. That's I bought. What did I buy? Six of them. I think I bought six of them. So yeah, um, that's where know. that's where your whiskey budget went. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why we couldn't go on that barrel pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So I just read a comment. Sure. I want to read. What should I offer? Uh, Bourbon beginnings. I would say hundred bucks on the top end. For the uh, Yippie Kaye? Oh, okay. 100 bucks. If yeah. you really, really want it, if you're a High West enthusiast, top dollar would be 120 bucks. Well, I would say my top dollar personally is 100 bucks. It can you try it first? Is that a is that a possibility? Maybe not. Um, Have you had it? If you've had it and you love it, yeah, they're not if making you, it anymore. Yeah, I would you, say if you know bump it. it up to 120. But for me, I'm not going to pay over 100 dollars for. For any high west product that isn't the 16 year rye. <laughs> Bubble bath says Borel. Borel. Borel Bourbon. I like to think that the L's are rolled. Yep. The sherry really influences the taste a lot. Molasses, cocoa, and vanilla, and berry fruit in the finish. That sounds delicious, bro. Wow. Sounds also, like high west good, prairie bourbon palette. store pick, barrel Manhattan finish, was very surprising as well. Hmm. Get one if you can. Shane Long, I have one, and I freaking love it. The barrel Manhattan, um, it brings just enough taste 
of um, of the um, yep. vermouth. Just enough vermouth to not be gross because I don't like the flavor of vermouth, but the, the essence of it from the barrel finishing is really nice. Also, um, American Prairie bourbon from High West gets run over. Uh, it's a very, very light bourbon. And so finishing it in that barrel really imparts it the the character of it and it's basically just like a really high proof um high proof light manhattan i, I really dig it which uh which smoke wagon are you drinking on there fourth rope no never had it for 99 when he found it no longer he raised it yeah man if he raised the price on you by like 60 70 bucks when you told him that you wanted it F that guy. Walk away. Yeah. Walk away. Sounds man. like a liquor store. Yeah, it sounds that sucks. It sounds like a dick. You may not be able to walk away from your liquor store, but yeah. it's people that do that, it's like, nah. I think yeah. 120 would be okay if you're looking to store it for a very long time. 130 would be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. If that's if that's you love it and so here's here's my know. question to you, Tony G. Do you think that Yippie Kaye is $130 whiskey? Or are you speculating based on future value? Because if you're speculating and you're gonna move the bottle. Then yeah, maybe maybe 130 is fine because clearly it's already being offered at 160, 170. Um, but if you're going to drink it, do you think that it drinks like a whiskey that costs 130 bucks? Because I just, I mean, it's good, but it's it's not super special, and that that puts it in a price above winter, Midwinter Night's Dram, and I much prefer Midwinter Night's Dram to Yippie Kaye. Yippee-ki-yay, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> Martha Flocker. <laughs> exactly. Blew my mind. Got it for 28 bucks in South Carolina. Yeah. Good God. $28 for a high west American Prairie. It's got to be American Prairie. Yeah, but it's yeah. still a it's still a, a, a I mean, private 20, barrel. 20, yeah, private barrel, 28 bucks. I think I've, Elixir, I've never Elixir found one for some, less than uh, $49.98. Elixir had some um, yep. um, private barrels. Uh, whoever, uh, who's going to, yeah, I think it'll be, I think it'll be $200 in seven years, but I I think the way that, uh, the bourbon beginnings is talking, I think that it'll be gone in seven years. I think it's going to be opened and drank immediately. I have a act seven midwinter nights unopened. I bought a case last year. I'll trade you for something. If you want it, if you want to try the high West rye blends, that's actually really cool. Uh, also bourbon beginnings. I have a Yippie Kaye open and a Midwinter Nights Dram open. Um, I could potentially send you some samples of those as well. So, yeah. Uh, it is what it says. Okay. Stray Bourbon Whiskey is what it says. Fair enough. Mm. If a liquor store asks me more than MSRP, then you've got the right to bid them what you're willing to pay. Uncle Buck, I agree. I yeah. think that's a great idea. Absolutely. And they have the right to tell you the GTFOH. Yeah. Or S. T D S S M D F T D. Yeah. That's don't, don't look S-S-T into that. Don't look into there. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he has a three. batch six for 169. So batch six midwinter night dram at 169 or a yippie kaye at 169. I'm gonna go batch six. So I think was batch six when it was all MGP? Was that the last batch? I would do I, some I research and find yeah. out when the last batch was that I don't was know all much MGP. About, I don't know much about High West. Um, he's in fourth row. He was talking about nice, Shane. Uh, That's awesome, man. His smoke, wagon. yeah. At, at less than 30 bucks, I would I'd pick up a bunch of those yep. for, for show. Yep, oh, so coming back to this Traverse City Rye, it, it man, it's this, super spicy. Um, a lot more clove that, than spearmint. That NVC just to me, I wouldn't say stomps it, but it does, it, it does stomp it, uh, yeah, yeah, it, which is okay. funny because they're both the same age, yeah. Uh, they're both seven well, year old MGPs. No, this one's four. Oh, well. So, all right. So, I just recall this. I mean, you, you drink that on a fresh palate and it's oh, so good. Oh, it's but, so good right now. Right. But yeah, it's not it's, as good yeah, as no, absolutely. Yeah. That one's got much more rounded, perfumey notes. And this one's spiky, spearmint, mm-hmm. menthol. Yeah. Um, I do love the spearmint. But yeah, like it's I said just, clove. It's got a bunch of clove on the back. Mm. For me to turn in, Lone Wander. Good chatting with you again. Okay, batch six was the first of their blend. All right, 
Ah, oh, Lone Wonder 360. Thanks so much for coming out. Guys, there's still 25 people in chat. It's crazy. We've been going for over two hours. And uh, I, uh, I've i been drinking since like 6 p.m. So this is pretty nut great. pretty nutty. I negotiate all the time. It doesn't always work out, but sometimes it does. You know what, Tony? You're a businessman. And, uh, you know, you and Dan both, I imagine, probably both put your liquor store owners through the paces on their negotiation. <laughs> Excuse me. Bura is the shit. I wouldn't overpay for Yippie Kaye. Um, Bura. I do love. I do love Bura. 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 Bourbon rye. Bura. Bura. Do you get Eagle Rare? Yes. I don't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> uh, yes, we're able to find it. Yeah. Now, whether we understand it conceptually, that's another yeah, matter. That's another entirely. matter. Yeah. Yeah. No, we get how many times we get it four ish times a year or so here? Yeah. yeah something Eagle like rare? That. Yeah. No. It comes in is it, is it like the monthly, like blends? Every sixty days, I'd say. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I say we don't get it as often as blends for sure. Yeah. But I would say maybe every we'll other a, month. We'll get a store pick maybe once a year. Once a year we get a yeah. store pick of Eagle Rare. Yeah. yeah. Like kind of like the Buffalo Trace. It's so. a gift. So it's a gift. So that that pick that they're doing right now for that Buffalo Trace is probably going to be accompanied by an Eagle Rare a bit. I think that there's going to be more than that. I think that we'll probably like, well, end up, full proof. Well, a full proof. Well, Eagle rare, another, another Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Yeah. I wish they'd do an OWA pick instead of a well full proof. They have the choice. Oh, I might talk to them about that. They should do both. Well, Can they not do both? They certainly cannot. Oh, well, that's yeah. dumb. Is the Burai just continued or just the son of Burai? Just the son of Burai, as far as I know. Shane Long, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for the will it start. Looking forward to the next stream. So am I, buddy. So am I. Uh, 6 p.m. Rookie numbers. Got to crank those numbers up. 1 p.m. Minus the nap I had for two hours. That's not a bad idea. Uh, somebody said something a second ago. I'm going to agree with them, uh, especially if we're considering going live tomorrow night. But uh, what the frick? There we go. Mike Cook. <laughs> These are my sentiments. Been drinking since Trev started also. I got max 18 minutes in me. Yeah. So 18 <laughs> minutes is going to put us to two and a half hours. I don't know if we'll make it that long. Yeah. But uh, I think that that's a, a fantastic time to stop. I mean, the bar. Charter down. The bars here close at two. So. Yeah. This bar stays Closing open 24 7. One person I don't negotiate with is Uncle Buck. <laughs> Uncle Buck puts you down like a bad dog. Hmm. <clears throat> Burr. Hot butter rolls. How do you associate me with Dan? I thought that you were friends with Dan. Am I thinking of the wrong guy? Am I thinking of the wrong guy? <laughs> Yikes! Started. At Jerry started at three. Uh, <clears throat> um, hi, West. Tony Bar G. Are Bar you I? are you not Florida, Tony? Florida. If you're not Florida Tony, then I apologize for associating you with someone I thought you were. Yeah. You were hard to find for me now. I did recently get a really good store pick, though. Josh stood up. Everybody drink. Have you had, has, have you guys had Lost Monarch, says Cannon Campbell? I have. It's delicious. And it's a, it's Redwood Empire doesn't have a bad whiskey on the market right now. Um, all their stuff is at least drinkable relatively affordable and i like what they're doing um their um their needle haystack series is freaking delicious i wish it was cheaper but it's not so um yeah i really like their stuff so bourbon beginnings i have a 18c 28 batch i can get you for what i paid stanley wagner's being super generous there so uh, that means it's a 2018 batch because the one eight, the first two numbers are the last two numbers of the year. So, yeah, um, dude, Stanley Wagner, you're the man. Get with Bourbon Beginnings. You guys make that deal happen. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. Just curious. People lose their minds over it here. Anything Buffalo. Over what? Mike Cook is a soldier. Yes. Mm. Hey, what's the bottle each of you bought that you still smile when you think about buying? Eagle Rare 17. For a hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, mine. I still think I still smile when I think about that. Uh, definitely, I had an eighteen Willie Weller, William Larue Weller. Um, 
That, that last year's Thomas H. Handy was really good. Um, it's long gone, but I don't, you know, I don't know if I have too many of those. Yeah. But, you know, probably the BTAC stuff that I've gotten. Nice. Um, hey, Bourbon and Giddings, put a link to your Facebook group in the chat uh, so that way people can find you and give your page a like. <coughs> Now, a bottle that I didn't buy that I still smile is um, I, I was gifted. Uh, actually, I was gifted two of these bottles for my birthday this year was E.H. Uh, e. Taylor Barrel Proof. It's a good uh, day. Yeah. I look at those and I'm like, oh, God. Hell yeah. That's always been my, it's always been top of my list to get one of those. And I just, I kept missing them, kept missing them. But, yeah. And my then mom, I got two on my birthday. As so far as gifted crazy. bottles go that are crazy out of the park gifts. My mom gave me an Elmer T Lee 100. Oh yeah. For Christmas last That's year. Right. That's right. And I smiled like a goon and still smile when I see it. Um, yep. I'm trying to think of any others over there that were just blew my mind when I got them. It makes me smile when I think about what about any Mitchners? Mick, is it Mickners or Mitchners? Sorry. I, I hate that. We, Why are you like, we have a, it's a it's an inside. <laughs> we joke. have an inside joke about yeah. Mitchners and Mickners. So yep. <sighs> so the dog. what's the bottles that make you cry when you think about? I had seven Four Roses pinkies picks, oh, God. and I let go of five of them for what I had in them to people that either that that drank makes, them or that makes me them. cry. That makes yeah. me cry that you did that. Um, I if you got a or, or for seven, you were seventeen for a hundred then. You, <laughs> Ricky Bobby. <laughs> oh man! So That's Lane Johnston was. said he was not a fan of the Emerald Giant. So Emerald Giant is a blend of their rye and MGP rye. So um, it's spiky, but I, I like it. Put it in a cocktail or put it over ice. So the bottle that makes me cry. Going back to that, um, when I first got into this stuff, um, I bought a bottle of that Black Maple Hill little squat bottle. Uh, the newer label, the Oregon Distillate. I, st I still kick myself in the ass thinking about that one. Because that was like, what, 95 bucks? Yeah, right? it was almost 100 bucks, and it was yeah. terrible. Well, your mom adopted me. She won't. I'm the oldest of six children. There's already too many of us. We're trying to figure out who to vote off the island. You don't want to get involved in that, bud. Uh, bubble Bath ER17. Uh, not sure what bottle and bottled and bomb. No, uh, he's saying... Yeah. Bib? Um, that is the uh, he's trying wild to say turkey. master's keep, yeah, yeah, wild turkey 17 bottle yeah. bond 200. Yeah, that's you know, not bad, not yep. bad. Oh, there he goes. Oops, WT, not ER. Sorry, nice. I, I just concentrate on that one comment. Don't look further. Mama dot me. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, or 12, not even close to my Mike Cooks as uh. Ad Uncle Buck, Weller 12, not even close to my favorite bottle, but I was on a Vegas trip at a liquor store, shooting the shit with one of the store clerks. Turns out he was in the Bourbon Junkies Facebook group. Oh, that's great, man. I love it. I love being able to connect with people. You know, Harley Davidson used to have a, a commercial, and it would say, when was the last time you passed a total stranger and knew he was a brother? <laughs> you know, that's... Word, words, words, word salad. That's a word salad, but it's a really, really, it's like a, a really good Caesar word salad, like with the yeah, perfect croutons. Great, yeah, great. The rotted of anchovies. Yeah, not too much, but not, too not much. you know, still yeah. in there. For sure. Yeah, fourth row. If you if you can grab barrel proof, do it. Pull grab the trigger, it. Pull the grab it. Bring it home. Not make at, it your own. Not at four fifty, but yeah. I mean, unless you got four fifty to spend, then sure, why not? But yeah. don't do it at that. Grab it at eighty bucks. That's awesome. Oh, cool. So he went back and grabbed it for me. Still talk to him every now and again. And we'll hang out next Vegas trip. I've made friends with some people in Vegas. And hanging out with people in Vegas is really interesting. I got to some, like, way off strip uh, bars. Um, like, I didn't know that there's sports team themed bars. So if you're a – I'm a New Orleans Faint Sand. Word salad. I'm a, New, I'm a New Orleans Saints fan. Who that? <laughs> and there's a New Orleans Saints themed bar where you can go watch New Orleans Saints games with like-minded alcoholics, and uh, it's freaking awesome. 
so I didn't even know about that part of Vegas until I got to make friends with some locals. So, yeah. Yeah, the cock, Uncle Buck bought a cock for cock 13 for 150. Sorry, cream of Kentucky, C-O-K, cock. Um, that's, you know, I, I hear not great things about it. Should have had lube with it. <laughs> <laughs> Petroleum jelly is the wrong kind for a sandwich. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if yeah. you're going to, yeah. Now you replace that uh, cream with the word king. Yeah, king. From what I understand, uh, some good yep. stuff. Stanley E. Wagner Jr. on Facebook. Hit me up. Cool. HMU. Hell yeah. You Literally yours. haven't cracked it until I can get you yours. Oh, okay, station Louisiana. Louisiana. So naturally, I have to be Saints fan now. Which Hell part? Yeah. Which part of Louisiana? Yeah. So my company is based out of Louisiana. We're based out of Lafayette. Mm. Lafayette. I love Lafayette. That's a come on. That is a great freaking, great freaking city. I just like the girls in Louisiana. Did I? Did I show you that? I showed you that stack of beer cups. We told you that story, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So my my um I I did an internship in 2010 in Lafayette and they had brew fest that, that would come through there and uh, it, was, it was all craft beer and you know not all craft beer but beer companies and uh, they would they would they had this big tent and you'd go around and sample and they were little two ounce sample cups and um, you'd go and try them all and it, it for me it wasn't just a oh sip and try it and all that it was a all right, here's my Maretsu 8 whoop, down the hatch. And I had a yikes. I had probably 32 of those cups. And um, I was definitely speaking in cursive that night for sure. Got hurt real bad. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so Fort Polk is uh, north of Lake Charles. Charles. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's still, oh, yeah. that's still fairly south Louisiana, huh? Uh, south of Natchitoches. Uh, Natchitoches. No, Natchitoches, but it's north of Lake Charles. I mean, that's... Well, uh, you pronounce it Natchitoches. Natchitoches? Huh. Is it? Uh-huh. I feel like you made it It doesn't... Up. No, it's that's not made up. That's... You guys ready to see a fist fight? <laughs> you mother... Making shit How do you up. turn this off? How do you turn this no, off? No, yeah. No, it's Natchitoches. Leave stream. Leave stream. Daddy, no! <laughs> so Natchitoches is in Texas, but then that one is Natchitoches. Fair enough. The more you know. I I just kind of feel like I feel like that might not be South Louisiana. Lane Johnson. The pronunciations get everyone. LOL. No, that's like certainly. Yeah, absolutely. West Central. Yeah. Where's uh Lafayette? Okay, Lafayette is there. Yeah. Uh, we uh okay yeah yeah there's Lake Charles yeah. yeah we drive over that big bridge over the lake and everything. I love that, that big cool. bridge. Yeah, it was it's really terrifying. Cool. Yeah, I'm scared of heights and so. Big ass bridges terrify me. Yeah. <laughs> Big I ass love bridges? New Orleans. Honestly, my favorite food spot of all time. It's my favorite place to black out. So I don't know if you've what, had. What do you always say? Make what memories? Make <laughs> make no memories. Stop make, making memories. Stop making memories. Stop <laughs> making memories. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite place to stop yeah. making memories. It's when your brain shuts down, your body's still all eye <laughs> of the tiger, and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> Bring me a hand grenade. I need Spanish three food. feet of Red Bull and vodka. <laughs> I need a whole yard of Red Bull and Three vodka. Red. Oh my God. Oh, Yikes man. on bikes. Yep. 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 Grilled I'm oysters so all day. Bridge. Yeah, absolutely. They get freaked out from that bridge. It's, um, I, I, I can, can see freaked why. out for sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm a baby back biatch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Baby> back biatch. <laughs> you sound like a real McAsshole. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. It is. Yep. 224 into the stream. Uh, we are almost at two and a half hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. Um, I don't know if I'm finishing this one. Four throw up, threw up on Bourbon Street. No big deal. Birthday. Hey, that's what you do. If you're if you're everybody on Bourbon, up there. Yeah, if you're on Bourbon Street on your birthday, that's I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think also Uncle Buck listed his own delicious recipe for vomiting on Bourbon Street. <laughs> Gumbo, Gumbo and hurricanes. hurricanes. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram for more throw for up recipes. More throw up recipes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the Hurricanes at Pat O'Brien's. Um, I vividly remember eating so much seafood and then having beignets. 
and or maybe I had beignets and then seafood, and then I had Bloody Marys with shrimp and bacon mm -hmm. and a little hamburger on it and celery, and then I had uh, hand grenades. No, I didn't. I had hurricanes, and I threw up, and all that came up was the hurricanes. Like, <laughs> praise the Lord, all that came up was the hurricanes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I realized that hurricanes are not things that I want to. I want to encounter in the wild or on Bourbon Street. Someone, uh, someone told me a story about you know they thought they were throwing up blood and yes. someone told them, uh, "Where are you drinking? Where are you drinking tonight? Hurricanes? Oh, you know those are red. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's because they're mostly okay, blood. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> they're made from blood. Idiots. They're made yeah. from real bits of blood, made so you know real, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> the bears can smell the menstruation. Uh, Rob R, look at that awesome discussion. Sub. Oh, nice. awesome, Rob. Thanks for being here, buddy. I really appreciate it. Yeah, let's well, shoot for 8 a.m. Yeah. Live bourbon tasting Listen, and wondering why Mormon bourbon, Mormon? Mormon bourbon? Listen, my body- I just found a new market. My body makes me wake up at six something. So I'll be up at six tomorrow. So I'll I'll come over here and I'll I'll see if I can wake him up. Bourbon wake brunch, up, pop camo. Yeah. What is uh, Bourbon Beginnings? HBR, I have to figure out this technology and we'll put a link next time. Thanks, but look up Bourbon Beginning. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, so on Facebook, go look up Bourbon Beginnings and like the page. Give our friends some support. And uh, yeah, it's good shit. Good shit. Yep. So lights out. Bonus nachos. Hey, bro. I like that. Mike Cook says the post game show. Yeah. No, I, like I mean that. it's definitely. Yeah. It's definitely. Uh, yeah, it is early on the yeah. West Coast, right? I mean, yeah. it's still. It's barely midnight there. Yeah. You guys it's are not, still raging. Yeah, so for sure. Morning whiskey is the best whiskey. Man. Mormons made bourbon. I don't think I'd buy that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh man. That's I just awesome. a group of the same name on Facebook. If that is your group, just hit me up. We can get this figured out. All right. <laughs> hey, babe, we need a vacation in New Orleans so we can eat great food and then puke you it out. No, no, no. No, you, you didn't get it, Kevin. You you don't uh, you don't puke the food out. You just puke the hurricanes. That's out. what I was saying. Yeah, you can only let the hurricanes come out. So. I just nose my water again for everybody keeping score. Oh wait, here's that. So some of the best after bourbon glass smelling I've experienced is Smoke Wagon. Yeah, God, it, it leaves that just oaky goodness it's in amazing. there. Amazing. Mm, 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 mm. One of the Formula One qualifying is at seven a.m. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. Well, where are they racing, Lane? I'll see you there. Can't wait to see you there. Oh, no, just no. kidding. That's all. I only say Formula that because one has been a shit show this year. I only say because it's insane wreck. Seven a.m. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, Kevin. Everyone so, gets mixed up on that whole puking thing. So I'm going to finish where I started. I'm going to go back to Willow Fourier to do just a little tiny toast to tell everybody good night. Um, Josh, you want to join me in this? Or yeah, I'll, I'll join you. I was gonna, I was gonna pop one of your uh, Pappy Twenty Threes that you have. No, but, let's um, don't do that. We'll save that for the next one. <laughs> we'll save it for the next one. Yeah, the Pappas. Yeah, thanks, buddy. He doesn't have any Pappy Twenty Three. I don't. All I have is Pappy Twelve. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I knew that was gonna trigger the shit out of you. That's Lot B. That's Lot B. You idiot. <laughs> you don't even have a Pappy. But I, I bet you have a Pappy Ten, though, huh? You dummy. Yeah, I don't have Pappy 23, yeah. guys. Sorry. Well, hey, uh, it's been a pleasure. Thanks Abu for, Dhabi. Oh, shit. Thanks for letting me come on again. Hell Wait, yeah. what? Abu Dhabi. Oh, nice. Yeah, for F1. That's hey, awesome. happy Friday, too. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It, we did, yes, we happy, did it. happy Friday. Happy Friday. Let's see. We did one, two, three. Oh, I'll uh, toast with a pingree. Four, four fries. Rise. Yep. Toast with a pingree. Cheers, um, guys. Thank yeah. you all so much for being here. I appreciate Cheers. you. Couldn't do it without you. And uh, I will try to go live tomorrow. So hit subscribe, select to turn your notifications on, select all. Yeah, all notifications. Crucial. Remember that. And uh, remember that. Yeah. So cheers, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Y'all have a good night. Uh, thanks for coming out.